Uh, we barely won yesterday. I don't know if we completed any of the challenge. <laughs> uh, today we're going to play Lich a lot. I was thinking about playing more Clockwork to get more clips, but I can find clips, and I know I can make the Clockwork Guide. So we're just going to do the Clockwork Guide, and then when it's out, we'll spam Clockwork again at that point. So today we'll work on Lich, and then after Clockwork, we'll probably make a Lich Guide, and then we'll spam Lich when that's out. There's a cycle to it. To reconnect my account to Dotabod. Do I even use Dotabod for much? Not really. Well, I'll log back in anyways. Um, Yesterday, I was kind of bad about pulls and stacks. I think that's the main thing I want to focus on today, as well as playing Lich, getting a feel for it. I was doing some nerd math on how much mana you get packed per creep wave and all that. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, but let me just... Or getting back into Dota shape, right? And I think uh, pulls and stacks will be good for the early game. Yeah, I, I, that's enough of a focus for, for another day. <laughs> Dave, welcome to the club. <laughs> we, we were losing a lot yesterday. I know this one says a win, but it was a massive fluke that we won. Look at this. We were we were uh, 20k behind, and then they bought back and threw in the fountain, and we we ended the game. So I was essentially on a six losing streak yesterday. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Clock win? No, it did not happen. <laughs> I know he's good though. I know I can make the guide even without getting more like clock wins right now. So I think it's fine. Today for Lich, we're going to try buying more stats to start. Because I realized I was getting those mangoes at the beginning, but we don't really want to use mangoes right away because it's not very cost efficient until you get level 2 in the queue, which is level 3 for the hero. So I think if you get more stats to start to boost your max mana, that makes the most use of his innate. Uh, so I was doing some math. At level 1, you have 387 max mana, and there's 8 creeps in a wave. Uh, which means you're getting 77, rounded down slightly, mana per creep wave. But if you bump it up to like four stats, uh, like four extra intelligence, like four iron branches or two iron, like a circlet, something like that, you're getting 10 extra mana back, which it doesn't sound like a bunch, but it's like uh, effectively 2.6 mana regen to 2.9 mana regen, which will add up over the course of a a laning stage, right? And then you just buy the mangoes after that. So that's what we're going to try today. Um, we're also going to Solar Crest, I think. I'm I'm caught in between trying to get solo kills in pubs by rushing the shard and then making use of the buff to Frost Shield with Solar Crest because it's damage reduction per attack and then you have the barrier from Solar Crest. So it's it's like really good synergy. Which I think in average rank pubs, the solo kill build probably makes more sense. But we're going to try the Solar Crest first. Well, we'll see. We'll see on the game. Double down. Oh, we had a double down loss as well. I forgot. This one here was a double down loss. It was looking so good to start, too. That's how they all go. I should... It's probably too late. I've already used most of my double downs, I think. I was just thinking, in the future, we should track our double down success. Great. Um, I could buy this bundle, right? 20 more double downs. How many coins? Do I, holy shit, I've got 30. What could I possibly buy? We're going to buy the next pack. So I'll need 10 coins for that. Then I'll just have 20 extra coins, which I'll earn more in the Act 4, I'm sure. So we could have up to 40 more coins, let's say. Could maybe buy some treasures. I don't have the Skywrath Arcana. Or we could get ourselves more double downs with which to lose. Hmm. How interesting. Hey, Tofu. Yeah, what's up? I'm glad you could make it live. So, yeah, let's answer some questions. Uh, notice on clock we get some spells on C and V. How are you holding your hand on the keyboard to have access to all your item slots, spell slots, and just general things you're holding? 
nothing on your mouse. Uh, on the mouse, I have, hold on, wait, I'm gonna, let me answer this. I don't wanna uh, get interrupted midway through. So I made a movie on hotkeys. Maybe I'll revisit it one day to make it shorter. I spent a lot of time thinking about hotkeys, or I did, now it's just like habit. Uh, so on the mouse, I don't have abilities, but I have one mouse button that selects my hero. Uh, it's by my thumb. Another button to scream at my teammates, you morons, because I don't want to be like, I don't want to have to be pressing a button on my keyboard and then I can't like use my abilities because I'm trying to tell people like back up and then we get into a fight and I have to like BKB instantly, but my finger can't do both. So I have that on my mouse as well. Um, and then I put other minor things on my mouse. So like in the store to pick up things in the stash. Um, I have it be like alt hero button to like immediately grab. I didn't know I could grab it all the way out here in demo mode, but, but there you go. Um, I have like quick buy stuff on, uh, some other mouse buttons. I have the lot. I was, this wire almost just got pulled off. I have the Logitech G502. So I've got like four or five extra buttons on it. Uh, middle mouse to camera grab. And then like store is open on the mouse, like all that stuff. Um, on the keyboard. My pinky is on shift, my ring finger is on A, middle finger on E, index finger on F, and my thumb is on the space bar. Um, so when everything's like leveled up, the reason I moved this here is because, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got a good amount of buttons, um, but it's not like a MMO mouse, which has like a million. Um, cause I don't want to be like pressing too much on my mouse cause I'm trying to like move my mouse accurately, right? So I didn't want to have to press too much on this. Um, the reason I moved my ultimate to V and like we have extra abilities on like some other stuff on like C or like the agonims is on X. Uh, the reason I moved that is because when I play micro heroes, I use R for tabbing and for. I use it for illusions and stuff. Do I not have this bound on him? All right, there we go. Uh, but I use like. R to micro illusions around, and I press that way more than the ultimate, which hookshot's actually pretty low cooldown, but if you play someone like Enigma, you're ulting like five times in a game, so I didn't like putting my ult on R, which is really easy for me to press, but only gonna be pressed like five times. Um, and then the rest, I just, uh, I just figured out what is like comfortable for me to press. Which ones, I like grouped them. Which ones are easy? easy to press, accurate to press, an overlap there, and then things that are pressable but a little awkward. Um, so like one for me is awkward to press. So I put things that I don't have to put that often on it, but I do use. So like patrol, not everyone uses it, but I do. Um, and I use it to like patrol illusions and summons around to scout things out. Um, and I only have to do that sometimes when I have time, so it's fine that it's an awkward key. But things like items, which you would need to be, like, super fast with, right? I just decided, like, what's easiest for me? And I tried to think about, like, combinations. So, like, for staff, you need directional movement. So I made sure my directional movement command, which is Alt-S, I can press this and then still press for staff. Because it's not the same finger doing both. And that way I can do both at the same time, if needed. Uh, whereas if you have to do like the same finger presses both, then there's like a minor delay in between. So I spent a lot of time thinking about stuff like that and putting the keys where I felt comfortable with it. I love talking about hot keys tofu. <laughs> yeah, trying to prevent misclicks. So like, uh, I don't know what's important, you know, BKB, that's one that you need to be able to press quickly and accurately. So I never build BKB because I'm now a full-time support player, but uh, usually it just goes wherever, actually, because <laughs> I don't have that much. Um, three, I use three for dust, usually, or I don't put anything on there. Like, if it's not a game with invis, I just put, like, a passive item there because three is, like, a little awkward to press, but it's not that awkward that if I need to put an active there, I can. Um... But I find dust to be, like, you need it enough, but not so much that it's critical to always be pressing that button. So that's pretty much, like, how I did it. I just, like, went through a list of keys that I'm like, 
ooh, this is a hot commodity key. Let's put important actions here. Four support. I wanted to try Lich for... It might screw my draft up, though. We can also do Bounty. Bounty's another hero I have interest in. Um, another thing to consider is try to keep the same items on the same hotkeys. It's impossible uh, in every single game where ultimately you will have some overlap. I don't want to pick Pudge. Okay, we're going to play Bounty, I guess. Hey, this guy didn't want Pudge on his team. Uh, we got to let him. You know, you got to let him have it. Uh, tilt the enemy team already. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Try to keep the same hot items on the same hotkeys. Like, Tango's is almost always on Z for me. Stick is almost always on G for me. And this way, you're like, over time, you develop your panic senses. Like, oh, God, I'm dying. Spam G, you know? Or, like, Dust always goes here for me. So that way, it's like, Invis. Okay, just, like spam panic that one and once you like add more buttons to that kind of like auto react then you don't have to think about it oh my god i don't need dust to start <laughs> um, <laughs> um then you don't need to think about it what if i get, went into the game with dust guys <laughs> um shit what do i want i have an ogre on my team should i get orb of venom we're definitely getting a stick, which I think means we can't afford. I mean, we could afford it, but I'd have like no stats, which I think is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like this. Hmm, and then maybe, this is such a good wand game actually. So I think I might rush the wand, maybe some extra stats. Um, passive item. So they're all bound, Thin Bug, but if I don't need to use one, I usually put it on three. Um, three or Z. But I think there's enough active items in Dota now that you have to be pretty comfortable pressing all of them quite quickly. Um, so almost everything is like, to some degree, easy for me to press. Go for first blood. Mm, it might be awkward. Let's just go scout things out, I think. Try to keep track of my invis. Yes. This way. <laughs> we do a little courier sniping, maybe. Repositioning. Thirty I seconds to go. Thirsty. How long does this last again? 20? Okay, we're good. Nice. Three bounty runes to start. And then I'm going to pick up this wand. Maybe another sentry too. Over there. Oh, it's a pudge here. You have a sentry? Where are you putting it? I missed. That's so annoying. Hmm. 
There's a sentry somewhere here, I'm sure. My blades will do the talking. I've chosen a bad time to do this, where I don't have to wait to tango. All right, that was bad on my part. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, maybe if I blood grenaded, we could have killed her. I didn't think we would do so much, to be honest, my bad. Dang, didn't expect her to be back already. I was just trying to get ahead of her so we could, uh... Repositioning. Is that a great I spy? Body block, and I knew she would try to jump, so I was trying to get over there first. I follow the trail. Hmm, maybe I should salve him. I'll just give him another tango. Alright, she should have no teleport, actually. Oops. He was dead. Guys, if a hero dies, that's not on us to call out. Like, everyone can see he's dead. Look at this guy pinging now, you know? Like, ping earlier if you want help, but also my teleport's on cooldown. We killed Pudge. That means he can go anywhere. If you're an immortal and you don't know that, then I don't know. Interesting that they backed up right there. Stalking. To hit this like a s yes. enough time to uh Aw. It's pretty rude, Pudge. This way. Burning, I'm burning. Do I want this actually? I'm not sure. This guy bought Urn, so I should try to help him out with kills, but PA seems to be just gone. So I'm gonna meet my courier and get a deep ward down and maybe we can spot her jungling or something. Five enemies, five yeah. Also, I just realized we have a void carry, which is kind of weird, but who cares? It's fine. Footprints. I'll find them. 
thinking. <laughs> hey, she's gonna be pinging a lot. Just go straight for arcane boots. Actually, I don't know if I need arcane boots, but I feel like our team is kind of low mana, you know? It might need some help with mana. Especially against like Lion and stuff. I am gonna drag these creeps around because I want us to take this. Hopefully Pudge wasn't stealing this. Damn. Ah, uh, maybe I should have TB'd. If Ogre dies, I think he's less likely to die than the sniper getting ganked by Pudge, which is why I'm walking over here looking for this. My blades will do the talking. Sucks losing the wisdom rune. Repositioning. But fortunately, we were at least involved in some kills, so we're not too... I mean, he's got triple burst, but don't double no more. Don't double no more. Alright, yeah, yeah, wait, I have creeps here. We need to put wards in just around Sniper, because he's a baby. Sometimes you just know people are babies, you know? And uh, that guy's mega baby. Uh, I'm going to take back bottom and get the tower. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm coming. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, Sniper's going to start complaining soon, but we continue to ignore. When Lion ran away, I figured there was something here. What's up? I'm coming, I'm coming. He's coming, right? <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, oh, yeah, too bad guys. we just got oh, tracked. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> Not yet. Yo, thanks for the follows, guys. What's happening? Back to back. Thank you. We're gonna get Pavise into Solar Crest because it's pretty good for Sniper, good versus their lineup. Slightly worried about PA. We kind of bodied her and then we let her 
B. It's on the way though, it's only issue. But I like this fight top. Uh, she's still the nine battle fury though, so it should be okay. Court, you're so slow. Over there. Court, you're so slow. Like I want to check your bottom tower. From sight. I'll find him. Your bottom tower's in a tight spot. Hmm. Footprints. She's farming a stack there. Oh, I wanted to track. Let me track. Let me track. Damn. All right, you got your stacks home, but my poor courier. There's a center here. I don't really care about it. Don't waste it. But just saying for people. Wow. Structures like this. I'll find them. <laughs> Easy. I think I'm dead. Oh, maybe I'm not dead. I love being alive. Okay, there's an observer on that uh, cliff again. What, what is that? <laughs> He's mad. I think they're kind of done. Good thing they're done before our sniper. Forgot there was an observer sentry combo over there. So dumb. I knew it was there and I walked into it. <laughs> No, we missed again. Got her. Uh, let's get more in this. All right, let's take this out. This one's here. Then solar. I have enough money for the whole thing. Is that a crooked twig I spy? I don't know what I want to build next. Adding. <laughs> I saw that coming. You can't fight what you can't see. Yes. The other fellas lost the mid tower. Drums? Kind of okay. Maybe just like a lotus orb. Armor would be really good to have this game. Oops. <laughs> Pay no mind. My blades grow thirsty. A lead. 
Courier Micro! Um, we're winning this game, but again, I was pretty bad about stacks and pulls. Now I'm good. Sad. Okay, let's go grab the wisdom rune and then run through the bottom, I think. So I'm grabbing the wisdom rune and then I'm gonna come this way. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could get Greaves actually. My team isn't building them. Um, it's kind of awkward. I already built the plate mail. Um, I'll come to the twin gate, I think. That's probably fastest for me. You can't fight what you can't see. I'll finish the Lotus and maybe we'll get Greaves after that. I probably could have saved him with uh If I had solar lotus, I maybe could have saved that void. Oh, Yule's also would have been a good item this game, I think. Invis squad. On the move. Find them. On the hunt. On the move. 
take turns chain stunning him with this. A slightly slow on that ping. Mm, it's only three of us. Let's just uh, go regroup. Uh, we can push in bottom and then twin gate back to top. Or go for tormentor, yeah. I'm so tanky with this, actually. I probably could have held that for a little longer, actually. True, I f forgot he didn't have Midas. And he's been winning. How peculiar. Who would have thought? Yes. All right, I should have brought my courier. about that sniper <laughs> i think i could have saved that ogre if i was a little faster oh shit a lot of space <laughs> that was awkward almost lost my uh solar crest okay mm. they're already up We'll get Greaves next. Damn! I even knew it, and I dodged the wrong way. I knew there was a risk. I just thought the hook would come from this way. And that's why I was like walking forward and then I even turned around. But the hook came from like the perfect angle that I was stuck in there. Damn. Ages. And then they bike or anything? Oh god, it's over. Who <laughs> shit, he's even further back. I'm just tracking. I'll go, I'll jump line. He's probably gonna have to check this cliff. Easy. Can we need ice belt? <clears throat> uh, I can't answer. If I had to guess, I'm Should guessing there's a ward here. A if I had to guess, there's absolutely an observer there. Yes. 
Hate to be your dead pal without that now. What? Easy peasy. Shut that word real quick. Should I put another observer here? Nah. I should. He might be around, you know. I don't want to be a, a lion cliff warder, you know? You know what I'm saying? What's he saying? I don't think I don't think he likes the items. Oh, amplified damage! Holy shit! Seven, feed him some. Use it on the wrong person. Hide me in the trees. Oh shit! on your beast. I gotta say that's a little I think I misclicked the solar on you. <laughs> Dude, I swear, well, some type of berry went on me. I think I got one barrier on him, and I think the next one I used on myself instead of on him because I was panicking. Stop disarming me. Um, what do I get? There's actually a lot of stuns. Vindicator's Act might be kind of good. So that one where it's stunned, we have like, what is it, 20 armor? Yeah, that's crazy shit. Who balanced that? Repositioning. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, who 
doucement. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. Rage buyback. I'm so angry. Find him. Find him for it. Go. I wasn't even needed to buy back, actually. <laughs> I thought back because, I mean, that is a big fight to go for, but. I, I didn't get anything off in that fight. I got jumped immediately. I should have been more careful. I was trying to track the lion, but instead I just got caught. Of course, they were gonna have like detection down. And I got burst. Oh well, it worked out. I didn't track anyone in that, what the heck? I think we can invis him, chain stun this PA. It wasn't necessary. All right. Man, you guys are some top two hard man. I don't know what to say. Uh, Alright, some of my team was quite nice. Some of them not so much. There's a weird looking lich. I saw the Jakiro 5 and I just didn't believe in the lich, you know? Uh, that guy's definitely a commendable person. I appreciate Jakiro trying to make calls ahead of time. I want to say nice team, but some of them not quite as nice. Yeah, Ogre Ogre bopped while I was gone. I like didn't have to do much for him at all. I think more it was more just that it's a Pudge 5, you know? I think if it wasn't Pudge 5, it would have been much harder to do what we did. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> How much damage did I do? Not a lot. How much damage was from... I wasn't throwing shurikens enough, but it is a good chunk of our damage bouncing around in fights. I gotta be better about throwing it, I guess. All right. We'll lock in Lich even if it doesn't look good this time. Okay, we have a second. Guys, does anyone own an offset smoker? When I moved into this apartment, or this house, the owner left a offset smoker here. He's like, you guys can have this if you want. We were gonna throw it, but if you want it, you can have it. And I was like, yeah, okay, why not? But it's kind of rusty and I've been debating my latest ADHD rabbit hole hyper focus. So I'm like, huh, what if I fixed this and then used it? I want to use it because I like cooking and all that. 
but I don't know if I want to bother fixing it. But there's not that much to fix. I say that, but I'm not that I'm not that uh crafty. My dad, my dad's much better at that than me. I don't have the tools is the main thing. And the the amount of money I would have to spend to like buy the different things to fix it. It's like I could just buy a different smoker, but I don't want to buy another smoker cuz this one's free. But it's got mainly it's got a bunch of rust on it. So, I have to remove the rust. But then I also have to buy everything to smoke things, and I don't know how to do that. Also, the handles are broken, so I gotta I gotta fix it. No idea what it is. It's a I guess it's a type of smoker. I didn't know what it was called until I started going down this rabbit hole. Uh, Malapalma, no, absolutely, you do not need Dota Plus. There is some nifty stuff in Dota Plus, but absolutely not necessary for the money. Um, I would say the most pay to win feature of Dota Plus is that. Uh, when we get into a game, you can see it if you haven't already. In the top left, it shows you the distribution of damage you've taken. But you can get a rough feel for that even outside, like without that, you know? Um, I admit I do use it. I look at it and it's like, oh, 80% physical. I should buy some armor. Um, but even without it, you'd have a rough idea on how to... Like if you just play enough, you know like this guy's doing magic damage and he's killing me. So I need magic resistance or health. Um, that's the most pay to win feature. Besides that, there's like some cool stuff like the performance and the breakdown I just showed. So you have a rough idea of like, oh, this is how much like I built around this ability and I find out I'm actually not getting much damage from that ability. It's not good, right? But that's pretty minor. You don't really need it. I would say um, just find some educational content. I'm This is not a self plug, but like educational content, talk with high level players, like whatever's available to you. Um, if you have friends who play and they're high level, and just come up with a plan of like things to improve on one step at a time. All of this is totally free, right? Even completely by yourself, uh, which is mainly how I did it. Um, just like, okay, I see a lot of pros doing a lot of laning. I don't think my laning's as good. I'm just gonna try to do that, right? I'm gonna harass a lot. Okay, now I've been doing that too much. I'm gonna try to do more pulls. I'm gonna do that a lot. And then you find the balance between that, right? Um, just keep coming up with things to improve on your own and you don't need Dota Plus for that at all. If you have the money and you want to spend it, feel free. I like Dota Plus for the voice lines uh, and the hero level tracking. That's the main reason I keep it. Uh, but you don't, you don't need anything on it. It'd be cheaper than a new one. That's what I think. I'm going to look into what it takes to fix it. I've slowly been looking at that. Carnage, we are. We just played a Bounty Hunter game just because we were position four and we had a position five Jakiro. The double double range backline supports didn't seem great. But I'm going to try to get Lich if anytime we're hard support. And if I lock in first as soft support, we'll just do it. Just sub to Zach. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to help provide some info on the uh, how to support. I would say uh, I... Oh, when, was the, when did I make it? There's a guide on like the ultimate guide to hard support or soft support somewhere on the channel. Um, I listed a lot of different things there that support players can do throughout the game. I would just pick one. Like my lane's pretty good. I don't. I win most lanes. Okay, then skip that section for now. Go to the next section. Like oh, rotations. Zach mentioned rotations, and I don't do that much. I sit in my lane for twenty minutes. Right. Then start working on that. Uh, just pick something on that list and get going. That's how I've always done it. I reflect on my game and I'm like, I think this part's not very good. Like today I said, uh, because we took a small break, my pulls and my stacks are bad. So today, along with playing Lich, that should be my focus. Like, okay, stack, 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 pull, pull, pull. I didn't do it last game. I'm a hypocrite, but you know, do that. Like pick something, work on it. Next one. Position four clockwork. So we are gonna spam clockwork later. Zach, when is the last time you did Dotatal? Uh, it's been a while, I think. Um, we are going to spam Clockwork, but probably Friday, because I'm going to make a guide for him tomorrow. Hopefully finish it all in one day. I believe I will. And then Friday, I'll release that video, and we'll spam Clockwork on Friday. Um, or you can check the VODs. I've been playing tons of Clockwork. But today, I'm going to do Lich. Always miss your mama instead of mana. I mean, Lich, gonna he's going to take your mana, and he's going to take your mama, and what are you going to do? You got no mana. Impossible. Let me 
stand for AD2L. I will be working on the video, sorry. I, I wish I had more time to do this kind of stuff, like the, the various community leagues, but it's just hard for me to uh, commit the time and balance uh, working on video streams and then like balancing my own life, fixing an offset smoker maybe, who knows. Um, so yeah, it's hard. I, I never do much of those. Um, what was I just about to do? Dodal. Wait. I don't even know where I have this up anymore. Actually, I was supposed to... Hold on. Screw Dodal. I was going to pull up Clockwork Games from Dota 2 Pro Tracker so we could start finding examples for the uh, the video. Save myself some time tomorrow. You guys get to be part of the work process. Hmm. Where shall we go? Who shall we watch? White Mon. White Mon Clockwork. Let's pull it up. I'll draft the clocker for content. <laughs> it's good. It's actually really good right now. Uh, if you guys aren't drafting clockwork, you know, grab it. Ah, man. Oh, wait, it didn't work. All right, let's, uh, let's go find some good cog examples and all that. I think that's the main thing I have to find. I have to find cool uses of power cogs. This one didn't quite work out for them. <laughs> oh, they got him first. It was totally good enough. Good enough. First blood example. Negative 19. Actually, it was earlier than that. Negative 30. Great. One example found, guys. Locking it in, guys. Here's the Lich. Position four, though. We'll see how that goes. This guy? Reefer? Cries all game? Interesting, interesting. No, you. Guys, this guy's living up to his name. Is my team tilting out in the draft? What's happening here? Oh no, guys. <laughs> What's going on? Sp hmm. Spectre, Witch Doctor, maybe the Techies. Is this worth buying a magic stick? And I'm with what? Bristle? They're both going to get sticks, which means they're going to use more spells. So I think I will buy. We'll do this. I think my team just tilted out. Um, if Bounty wants to go play position four, that's fine. I'll adjust. My items are actually probably the same. Oh, no, I wouldn't start stick if I was position five. But whatever. Everybody gets set. If I play position five, I don't care. Except it'll just suck because I, I wouldn't have started stick. But starting stick is not the worst. Like Weaver started stick anyways. Okay. 
We can go for the first blood. Truly. Going. My friends. By the way, what? By the way, what? How are watchers still buggy this long? Like, just didn't reach the queue in time. I think I'm dead. Form the Eidolons! I think this is not working out <laughs> in the end. Hella stick charges though. Uh, okay, yeah. Bounty looks like he's going top, so I guess we're position five now. That's fine. Oh, actually, this works out well. Eidolon's dying in the lane. When they expire, they probably don't count as dying, but... Wait, how long is this range? 1,500. Can I ping this? Oh, nice. Money! Probably won't kill him, but we'll get a lot of damage in. My pathing feels weird, guys. I don't know what's up. Uh, I'm gonna buy raindrops real early in this lane. Run from the Eidolons. Oh no! Money! Wait, am I not getting mana from those? Uh, kind of weird to take that at this level, but uh... It's mainly because he was just taking so much damage from the Eidolons. I kind of regret it, but the deed is done. I definitely could have done that better, but never mind. Do you want to drop south? Oh, he's already got one on the way. Okay. Mm, 
I may have just gotten him killed, actually. I was not paying attention to his wand charges. He had a lot more than I thought. Ah, shit. I just bought. Or just TP'd into. Alright. I goofed. Downside of level 2. Or level 1 Q. Oh, shit. I think he's dead now. Ah, that was also a really weak Q. Forward. <sighs> Darn. Burn? Damn. Quickly. Your mid tower needs a little help. It's so weak. I know I should be able to use Sinister Gaze to interrupt, uh, what's it called? But I don't believe in myself to uh, react in time. Yes. Please do not die right now. You know, in hindsight, um, the other facet that lets you get more bounces would have been really good this game. I wasn't thinking about it. That item I could buy instead. Your mid tower is in a bit of a bind. Cold front coming. Fifteen wand charges a lot. All right, I probably should have gone for the eight minute rune. Ping that earlier. Dude, 
dude, they are taking mid right now. Why are you jungle instead of trying to defend or something? At least scare the fucking wave. Holy fuck. A calm team. Meanwhile, fucking Bristleback still in the fucking jungle. Oh my god, that armlet toggle. Holy shit. try to keep it for him but I was too scared that someone else would steal it oh, the dead body still landed ah, I panicked I, I gotta keep it I gotta Believe in myself that we'll be able to sinister gaze in time. All right, this is a game we're gonna go solar crest and just buff up the huskar. Um, man, I wish I'd taken that other facet. I feel like it could be good this game. I think I'm gonna go solar glimmer. I'm gonna walk here. Yes. Hmm. Agreed. Quickly. I'm a twin gate over. That's such a... I feel like we see all of them. Why are we going in like that? Uh... I guess I have tranquils. I get eight of rock. Um, I don't think they can see the uh, spirits going over. I saw someone on Reddit ask. I never tested it myself. 
I feel like it would be really bad design if they could. You know? I'm gonna trust that they didn't just make Lich god awful at hiding. Man, I really wish I took the other facet, guys. I feel like I really screwed up. Yeah, the bounce, every time we kill an Eidolon, it would continue bouncing one more time. And the shield would last like 5 million seconds. Literally. That's even rounded down. 5 million. Cool, cool. Oh, yes, give me my mana back. Excellent. Cardo, Ooker Dooker, thank you guys. Aw, oh, that sucks. Like, imagine if I had the other facet, how long that ult would have kept going. Shield never would have ended either. The other fella's bottom tower's done for. I think we get a blink, maybe, to keep canceling black holes. This is the second time we managed to do it. But the cast range is, it's dicey, you know? I'm kind of scared to keep hoping we just happen to be in range. Sentry over there. Them dire buildings are tough as nails. All right. I guess I forgot about Spectre. 
no creeps here yet. I forgot I couldn't do that. <laughs> What's he working to? Bags? Alright. Alright, my mistake there was not simply sitting behind Huskar. That was a foolish thing to do. You're gonna like randomly kill me. Hope not. I want Eye of the Vizier for the more cast range. I'm kind of worried about reducing my mana pool, but. I think the ability to cancel black holes better. And we have a solar crest already. So. Going. Ah. Coming. Your mid tower needs a little help. Forward. I guess I should have feared faster. I guess I should have feared faster, but the uh, Spectre Silence got me. Should I grab something else? Glimmer. Otherwise, we are gonna just get killed every time she haunts. Hmm. Sir Lancelot. Yeah, I feel like I've been very hit or miss playing. Just been really busy with different stuff, casting and all that. Agreed. What was the Roche time? Percenting God of War, the new one or the uh, original? I haven't played the new one yet. The God of War 2, second time 2. I, I don't know, man. When games go with like numerics, like God of War 1, 2, 3, 4, and then restart with like, no, new God of War. Oh man, the naming scheme gets so confusing. I really liked the first one. I played on PlayStation 4. I want to play the second one. I just haven't gotten around to it because I spend all my time playing Dota. Don't make me chase you. The very original, like the fighting one, right? The not adventure game version. Uh oh, what's going on over here? 
guy loves playing on his own. I don't know. My whole team is like tilted. I'm trying to follow cores, but everyone's on their own. Might be a mistake to buy Blink versus a Spectre, but I'm going to risk it for the Black Hole. How come this Huskar has never done Tormentor for me? What the heck? Shit, get me out of here. Forward. Almost there. Fortunately, she just used Han. Otherwise, I'd be really scared to do that. Please, please. Someone did Rose for me. I don't know who. Bristleback did it. Thank you, Bristleback. You want good combat to look somewhere else? Oh, no. I don't know why I did it. Actually, I do know why. I usually play at the highest difficulties. When I played the first God of War on PlayStation 4... It took me so long to get through the opening. Holy shit. There's a whole fighting like, oh, you can melee, you can do it. No, I'm throwing the ax for like 20 minutes at a time, trying to clear the room of like droggers that are gonna kill me in one hit. It was so hard to get started in that game. Most of my fighting in that game was throwing an ax from afar. <laughs> Perfect. Can we just set up for Roche, guys? Agreed. Cool. Pay no mind, enemy team. Nothing's happening over here. I did like the story a lot though in that game. 
I think Ro should count as a hero kill for Lich Mana. Just a thought. Do I even want Glimmer at this point? It's pretty good. There's a lot of magic. It's just another active I gotta, I gotta deal with. Holy shit, Bristleback's doing it. All right, they're keeping those heroes distracted bottom, so. Oh, that was unnecessary. I'm pretty rich, actually, guys. What if we went for the baller Ags play? They don't even talk to him. Oh shit, <laughs> I got baited. I was just trying to prevent him from coming back to the base. Pipe's interesting. You cast too soon! Oh, maybe it's fine. I think the Yasha Kaya threw him off. See if we can solo kill someone. Maybe this SF. Not the best bounces, but we got him killed, so I'll take it. I swear, the games that are labeled Quality 4 have been the most toxic. Quality 4 and 5 have been lies lately. Absolute lies. Hey, Erzy, thank you. Yeah, I think Lich is in a pretty solid spot right now. People should have been muted. Toxic behavior. I swear my team was starting to tilt out in the draft. Yeah, pretty good start. Although it's not like it's a massive lead across the board. But we are generally winning. Though maybe it's tied because the supports are slightly richer than us. Uh, I'm not sure. My team just kept like wandering off on their own in this 10 to 25 minute mark. And we randomly get killed. I did it once on a ward. Which, you know, okay, that's mine. Um, I don't know. It made the game harder than it needed to be. What's changed about Lich? 
so I think he was in a decent spot already, especially in pubs. But then they just gave a huge buff to his Frost Shield at level 1. So it makes it a really good 1-point wonder if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can still you can still max it, uh, probably second, um, and it's really good. Prior to that, they just like slowly buffed some of his other stuff. Um, and the main thing is that this death charge, his innate ability, lets him get a bunch of free mana in the laning stage. If you're in range of all the creeps in the early game, it's about um, to make it easy, just think of it as about 80 mana per creep wave. Uh, so it's pretty free. Harass. Yeah, other heroes are struggling with mana because of the arcane change and the bracer nerf and the aura nerfs means that people have less health and less effective health versus magic damage, which Lich is a magic burst hero. So he's benefiting a lot from this. A lot of, uh, like, the same value from him, but everyone else went down, essentially. Uh, CM stonks went up a little bit in pub games. I think at the pro level, it will go up more to enable still, like, a fast-paced tempo. I think for pubs, it's, you know, it's not as noticeable, those changes. Um, honestly, I don't know if most average pub players would even notice some of the nerfs. Besides, like, the big one to Wind Ranger, right? This, like, oh, Arcanes is 100 more gold. Oh, you get a little less mana, you know? It, most pub games do not push the envelope in terms of tempo and pacing. And, like, I have literally just enough mana. Let's go. Um things like this game happen where like I'm mad at you, you're mad at me. I don't know what we're mad about. We're all just angry and let's 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 not play together. Let's let's all just AFK jungle, you know? It's like I don't know if people will even notice those kind of changes. Yeah, Coddle Coddle slightly up to Ever Darker, that does suck. Um you'll just run into those people and Fortunately, it shouldn't happen too much with like uh, the like. Oh, well, I don't know. In theory, Overwatch and the behavior score system is supposed to be able to remove some of those false reports. You will still be affected by it a little bit. Like my behavior score drops. I have like endless footage of our behavior in pub games and. I don't really think we ever do anything to be reported, you know, besides maybe play badly. Um, so false reports will go through a little bit, but in general, it'll be fine. I will say, say less in pubs is generally better. Like if you try to say too much to someone on what they should do or should not do, it's just a very fine line to get right. People will feel micromanaged if you say too much. So I recommend trying to keep it quite short. Like, um, like in your case, don't tell them like what else they could do. Just mention like, I can manage the creeps. Can you harass the heroes? Please throw please in there. Thank you. I don't know. Like, you know, whatever. Um, you can keep it even shorter than that, but you just have to be very careful about like how you say it. Cause people with egos will do, you know, what you experienced and report even though you're trying to win and communicate. There is no weekend Dota, Zach. There's no stream because Zach's not playing weekend Dota. You can see all the games. There's none. It rarely happens. I would say I, I'm probably more communicative. Communicative? I'm talking more in games off stream because I'm not rambling to you guys. So if anything, if you see me in a pub game off stream, I'm probably a better teammate. I'm more focused and talking more. That's true. I'm in the game files, deleting, deleting the losses, deleting the wins so you guys can't see I'm buying MMR boosts. And I just lose on stream and we toss up to bad luck and then I boost off stream. <laughs> yeah. 
You knew it? No, there's nothing, nothing. All right, let's pull that game up again. Keep looking for clockwork examples. Oh, Roche time is not it. Got some good lich clips there, I think. Some good Enigma black hole cancels. Yeah, giving an option is generally better, I think. For example, um, instead, like in the draft, you'll see this happen where people will say, pick Luna, pick Mars. This is kind of a different issue, but some people still find that toxic. Like you're hovering one here and they're like, don't pick that. Pick this, pick this, pick this, pick this follow like whatever right that can be toxic the other side of it is, it is like you tell them pick this hero because this is the meta hero they don't play the meta hero but they think they can kind of play the meta hero so they're like okay i'll do it and then they're shit uh so give them an option like we need an initiator please you know how about blank or like aura builder sounds good here you know you give them the option and within that option they can then pick the best hero that fits it that they can play or they can ignore you and you left it as an option and it's like, okay, no, no harm done. Same in pubs, like, um, you shouldn't be doing this. Like, why are you doing this? Like, that's, it's going to come across as toxic. But if you're like, I think you can roam bottom if you want. Or like, I'm okay here if you want to do something else. Oh, what a play. Another good use of power cogs. Um, I mean, whether you should have to do this or not is one thing, but in terms of useful skills between Dota and real life, learning how to communicate without being toxic or around a toxic person, not that you should have to, but this is reality in the workforce, in life, students, teachers, like the whole range, you'll run into toxic people who have power over you and learning how to talk like this is actually one of the useful skills from Dota to real life. So it also helps you in Dota in the fact that, sure, you should be able to say something, but if the guy tilts out and rages, I mean, it, it is kind of a waste of your time of like 30 minutes to an hour that he's now just baby raging. So finding ways to communicate that work out more than not is quite, a good life skill, I feel, as well as helping you in Dota. And you can just like mute and all that and try to play your own game, it's true. But I do think finding ways to communicate around toxic players will help you win more games. For example, to me, it's very similar to not giving up. Like, I could save time by giving up because my team is toxic and I just like AFK. But finding ways to continue playing will get me some extra wins. I guess it does come down to what you value. And, uh, you know, I guess I can't say it's wrong if you think a game is done and it's like, I'm just giving up. But, like, I do think you'll win a couple extra games by not giving up, even though you could. And then in the same way, like, you could not bother trying to communicate with toxic people, but I think you'll also find you can help your own win rate by learning to do so. So, um, yeah, I don't, I think it's fine to, like, try. It doesn't really take much either just to change, like, the way you phrase something. If it was like a massive effort, then maybe I would feel differently. But I think uh, free changing the way you like the language you use is relatively easy. Like you spend some time thinking about it and then you just use the same phrases forever.
For a second, I thought this was some sick-ass Midas rushing clockwork, but it's just delivering couriers. Ooh, does this spot this? It does. I think as Lich, we should try to get a stack at two minutes on the small camp. Because there's so many creeps. It's so much free mana. As well as giving us something to do when we don't have mana. To like go do a pull that denies, you know? Pull them back in. Found a couple useful examples so far. This is usually the longest part of making a guide, and at some point I'm gonna get a video editor to help me with this stuff, I think. But oftentimes, like, I have all the information I need to talk about clockwork, but then I wanna show it, right, as part of making a good video. I think it's one thing to mostly just talk about theoretical stuff. I would love to show even more examples, but just like the cost of time to value, I cut it off at some point. But this is like the real boring stuff that I could find someone else to do it for me. <laughs> that would be ideal for me. I think doing it on stream while we queue up games is uh, probably good for us though. A way to do all the stuff at once. Do you think blocking the enemy camp also robs you? I was thinking about that. If, as Lich, I should just let them have the hard camp. Because it's more creeps. But a lot of times, it's not a ton of creeps from the hard camp. Like, the best one you could get is the troll summoner, and he summons a bunch of skeletons. But outside of that, it tends to be fewer numbers of creeps. So I think I'm leaning towards still blocking the hard camp if possible and then making sure the small camp's open because that's still generally good anyways on any hero. I got to say, watching from his perspective is a little dizzying. He he cuts his camera around. It's not even the worst I've ever seen, but it's... I feel jarred. Um, the early levels of Lich, right? It's like, is that worth it? I'm not sure. He absorbed a lot of Eclipse. Yeah, the editor would also need to be decent, um, ideally. But I also don't think it has to be the highest MMR. Some of the stuff, yes. But there's also a certain level of, like, even a Herald can appreciate some cool plays at the pro level, right? Like, oh, this was such a sick combo, right? And I think even someone without a... As long as you play the game and have a rough understanding, I think they don't need to have, like, necessarily a mortal level knowledge. Maybe for some stuff, I'll have to find that. But if I'm just like, hey, can you find me, like, a kill example of when he uses this combo? Can you find a case where, like, he does this by accident and then it backfires? Like, this is how you should not use that ability, right? Like, I think it should be doable even if I have to find some of the examples still, but it saves me like two hours or something, then, you know, that's kind of a net win. The videos right now, like first it would be a, I would pay for this and it would be a technically a loss, but 
I think if we put out more consistent guides, then the channel will do better and grow and all that. You know, we could also just load an insane amount of ads into it, but I probably will not do that to a degree. Um, but I, tell, I, I think there's just like a business cost of it, right? Of like, if I continue to try to do it myself forever, it's just gonna limit how many videos we can do. <laughs> exactly. That's true. Um, it's it's more like finding the clips, but I think it still falls under editor because there would be other stuff. Oh, another example, right? Something that like a herald could do. I'm talking about an ability. Going into the game, clicking the ability, screenshotting it, loading it into the video, all of that, right? It's very easy to do. It's just time consuming to do it consistently. Or like I'm talking about a change to a hero. All right, gotta go load up the hero, gotta go find the change, screenshot, whatever, all that. It's just a lot of small things that add up that someone else could do, right? But it would make for a good video. But it's not, it doesn't need me to do that. Anyone could do that. Be a good alt away example. Nope. <laughs> it's taking so long to find this next game. You have a good hook shot example? Hit me with it. Maybe this is the other way to do it. I crowdfund it from you guys. I just post on YouTube. It's like, send me clips of your game. The issue is most people, it would be best for me of like, here's match ID, here's time, all that stuff, send it. A lot of times when I ask for clips, people are like, hey, check out this game. And it's like, okay, well now I gotta dig through the whole game to find what you're talking about, which doesn't save time. <laughs> Or to an, exa to an extent, it saves time of like, I know what will happen in this game, but like, I have to dig through the game and that defeats the purpose. It's a very pro play, sounds good. This game, how long does this game go? Another 10 minutes. See, like, when he's jerking around like that, that was a weird way to phrase it, but that camera movement's really jarring when you're not the guy doing it. When you're not the guy jerking it around. <laughs> Let's go look at NPR's example. Oh, it's a Twitch clip. Okay, hang on. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Actually, this is a custom game, too. I don't know if I'll be able to use it. Ah, hookshot escape. Nice, nice. Are we getting in this game? What's happening here? When is the job application going to be posted for being an editor? I'm not sure. I probably have to do some market research on, like, how much is like the fair price of paying an editor and all that. Figure that out. Like uh, when I think it'd be cost effective. I'm assuming it's gonna be a loss to start, but like, that's fine, I expect it. But like, can I afford that? You know, where's that level? Uh, I probably have to do a quick, not that quick, I guess, some research into it. Ah, our lich is gone. All right, surely we can't lose five clockwork games in a row. Is that how many we're at? The gears are in motion. Surely we can't lose seven clockwork games in a row.
Oh, we got Keen Folk going here. I'm bad at Tusk. I guess you could play Dark Willow. Ten seconds to go. What's up? <laughs> What's yeah, it? Yeah, say good luck, Charm. Thanks. <laughs> we got engaged this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> ringmaster yeah she's ringmaster now <laughs> um okay maybe we get spirit vessel this game it's kind of okay thanks guys <laughs> i don't mind sharing that info but i don't know how to like it seems awkward to just bring up i don't know Um, wait, I don't need this. Hold on. Wait, 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 guys. I got to refocus real quick. Venge. That's pretty annoying. Um, we need to. We just need to like fight a lot, I think. What the heck's the Dark Willow build anyways? I think I know, but let me just double check. Flexing your happiness. <laughs> Sharing it with everybody. I don't know if I actually want to stick, guys. It's kind of useful, but I kind of just want more stats. I'm not... I'm really torn here. All right, we'll do it. Where do you guys want to go? Let's go. Listen, you dog, but hmm, that's a name choice. Uh, we're missing some of our teammates. I wanted you to place the board here. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah, so we can have vision in the lane and harass void. Mm, true, right. true. If we get a first blood, it'll pay off, but it seems like no one's here, which sucks. I'm debating whether going Greaves or going Boots of Bearing. What do you guys prefer? Come on, Jex. Mm. Still first blood bottom. Bearing might be good with. Maybe bearing is good with the other cores. Yeah, I'll go bearing. What is this pathing? Oh shit, guys, I have the old. Alright, this is not the play nowadays, guys. You're supposed to go throwing shade. Uh, but. Oops. Never mind. Um, maybe it'll work out, because our team. Our team mostly just wants to attack, and Tinker's not going to help, right? So maybe more lockdown will help out. Copium. Let's find something to steal. Let's fly. My time has come. What going on? That order should have been different. Ah, oh, I hit a creep instead of her. Thank you, guys. It was, uh... I gotta say, I was really stressed. <laughs> Oops. Ah, shit, you probably put it up there. That sucks. 
I don't think it's worth my time to walk. Well, maybe it is, actually. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I kind of lost a lot of health for that. And I kind of gave Faceless some time. Maybe that wasn't good. I think she TP'd up here, though, because, uh, where is she? Oops. What? Oh, fuck, okay, it did spawn. I was very confused for a moment there. Sackle! I don't know if I butchered that name. Thank you! I'm glad you liked the videos. Happy you could make it to a stream. Okay, okay, we're in a good spot. Uh, Lotus time. Shit, I forgot to buy tangles. Is that like a passive way to be like, give me your tangos, or? <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's find something to steal. Ah, just missed it. I can take care of myself. What are we waiting for? Where the road takes. Time to move. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> That's bad. That was weird. He should be fine on his own. I'm gonna come look around for. I think we just go straight arcanes, maybe, for my team. Oh, he's getting arcanes, actually. No time to dilly dally. Time to get into trouble. Let's fly. Gotta go. Um, man, I don't know what I want to build, actually. I think solar is good, but I feel like I... Here we go. I feel like I should have rotated to the other lane, actually. I have not been doing anything here for a while. Careful talk. Rip. Oh, that stupid creep. Are these V's or W's, do you guys think? Helped with the power ring, maybe. I'm full of surprises. No breaking through the dire structure for now. No, oh, we got it. Sixty nine gold. Nice. Here. 
think I'm gonna go ward back here because I think that's what Void's been up to. I'm gonna get the wisdom rune. Uh, probably go home too, unless this is Seeds of Serenity. No. I'm gonna take it anyways, though. Screw my team. Ha -ha. Let's get a shovel. All right, we're getting some serious death toll kills. He should be pretty rich. Oh my god, he is. Mm, I think we just go home and TP out. Good place to put a ward, man. Really good job on that, by the way. Seems more positive than usual. <laughs> I feel like I've recognized this guy. He's a visage spammer. Seems to be in a good mood today. Uh, does he know you're taken? Oh, so true. He's maybe trying to get on my good side. It's too late. I'm, I'm taking the portal. I'm taking the portal. I'm taking the portal. I'm going. I'm here. Okay, if you want to fight them. Okay, they use their shit. Just push. Uh, he's not the right guy to use that on. How come I can't... Oh, right. I don't have to self-cast anymore. I was trying to alt-cast my bedlam, and it wasn't working. Because I guess I just don't need to do it anymore. Weird. We're going to be doing more of the warding this game because we have a tinker. Here we go. How much is this again? Oh my god, it's a hundred more gold. I forgot. Five years to get this shit now. I got Orchid. Let me, let's just pretend we're leaving and he'll come to, to this one. Your mid tower ain't doing too well. Go for him, go for him. If you can get him, that, you can like grab him in your maze. What is happening over there? Someone's coming. Oh, Earth is coming. If you want to come, stay here. Hit it. Looks like he's coming. Check. OK. 
Okay, never mind. Let's, Let's go mid. Let's get the Tusker again so he tilts. I don't have the mana. Holy shit. I'm like killing myself here thinking I have mana to dodge. Tip him so he tilts. <laughs> no, no. We can't do that, guys. We can't can't dive into the dark side. I have to I have to be the positive community. Tusk has done nothing to me. Let's go bottom and get the Wisdom Rune, minute 14, from them. High ground, high ground, high ground. Go, 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 go. High ground. Sure. Yes, daddy. High ground. I'm going high ground. Why am I stuck? Some pro liquid strats right here, guys. Man, record time that I'm going to get a Dennis Inceptor and... Let's go, Daddy. <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking go. This is some peak NA Dota happening right now, guys. I want that Wisdom Rune, but there's no way I can leave my team right now. It's not worth the risk. Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, we should be good. Two sets of racks at uh, 15 track. minutes. Rain track, rain this track. is pretty, pretty set in stone. Along with the fact that they said GN fast. But you know, you can never believe them. You can never believe that shit. It's all fake. Why is the pathing trying to bring me through this? I'm gonna go hunt these noobs. And push stop. Go daddies. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Let's get Why is he so slow? Because he's so consumable on it. Now I need a new teleport scroll. Time to be trouble. If this guy starts cutting creeps, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's asking to end, dragging it out. There it is. There's the toxicity. There's no need for racism. Positivity. Saying Peru is not racist, it's just a country. It's your nationality. I think using it in that context counts as racist. You think? Well, alright. Alright, man. Just because I want to make Dota a better place, I'll stop. But you gotta commend me at the end, okay? Compromise with the tip. 
Hell yeah. I don't know if I'll stick true to that, guys. You were doing very well. I'm very proud of you. This poor bear is getting his beaten to death. We must heal the bear. Oh no, he's gonna die! No! Heal the bear! Heal the bear! GG. Ask them to waste glyph. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. People lose GG and then keep going. That's no good. Didn't lose seven in a row on clock. It, does that count when we didn't we didn't get to play him? Is that is that something real? Um, what was this? Game was a stomp, but in our favor. Skip. Uh, yeah, we just got a lot of death toll kills. End up really rich for it. Yeah, 6k on the visage. Easy gaming. The death toll, super balanced. Very, very fair. Picked him and tried. Counts. <laughs> All right. Okay, how are we doing here? Any new levels? Not yet. Let's check our act four. The enemy team seemed tilted, you know, so I just don't wanna queue right away and get them in my game. How are we doing here? Oh, we got it! Totally by a random chance, I wasn't even trying. Um, Do I have one shield token already? Not yet, but we should be able to get this. Shield tied fur. Shield tied fur. Shield, which I think we need to. Tied. Her. I one of these we needed two of and I don't remember though and we're about to walk backwards a little bit it was fur now we gotta wait for the little people to walk and walk and walk and walk and walk around game too fast true I don't know if there really were sick fights I think there was I think there was a laning stage and then there was a death toll visage. I think that was it. Nice, we did it. All right, let's switch over to act one or two then. Cause I think there was a... Uh, I think there was... Yeah, this temple. All right, we have shitloads to do in this temple. And then, what was the Act 2 equivalent? Wasn't there one somewhere? I don't actually know where, though. I didn't do a bunch of these mini games either, actually. <gasps> I have so many rerolls. We got to use them. Reroll. 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 Revol. Oh, saying it differently didn't change anything. What was in this one? Oh yeah, this. Are you worth a lot? 12 bucks? I don't know if I've really even seen that set that much. Reroll. 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 Two and a pirate captain. I well, shiver me timbers. The enemy's bottom barracks have fallen. Why does it sound like he's blowing out the mic? 
Well, shiver me timber. Yar, dire, good as new. Now get to work. Your bottom tower be under attack. I've never heard this, guys. I didn't know we had a pirate captain announcer. Okay, but there is... Where is it? I know there's something here. Encounter? I think there is. Omex Daily Duel? No. Is there not one here? What dragon fire thing? The, uh, the dragon chess? There's none in act two? Oh, okay. Well then, we'll go to act one. Casually earn tokens to get this. I guess I didn't have act one. I swear, I was like, are we about to pick up five million snake tokens from how much Dota we played? But I guess we weren't on act one. All right, I'll keep act one active so we can uh, do that. Give me one second, guys. We're going to keep playing probably Lich, um, unless he's banned out more. But I'll be right back.
I got my snack. Oh, the bullet hell finish final final level. That was pretty fun. I like that one. I can see how it would be challenging though if you don't like a bunch of like bullet hell games. All right, back to perfect. We defended racism. Wait, change that. We defended against racism. Got our behavior score back. Let's go. What are we snacking on? I got some yogurt. I got a giant tub of yogurt from Costco. Mix it with like either like sometimes like the mango juice they sell or they had the naked juice on sale, like $4 off or something. So I got some of those. So this one's strawberry, banana, and yogurt. Got some fruit, but need some yogurt to blend together. I don't have any fruit to do that with right now, but I have done that in the past. Right now, I have... Um, uh, pineapple, but I feel pineapple and yogurt is weird. Be the same take token for this is a different token. Okay, we just need to earn a shitload of tokens here because there's no scraps here. It's frozen. <laughs> just head on over. Give you some of my yogurt. There's a Costco about to open across from me. It's going to destroy traffic near me, but. When I need yogurt, boom, Costco amounts. Get thousands of bottles of Costco uh, yogurt. Quap four. I want Quap four to be good because I have some sick Queen of Pain sets because she's everybody's favorite to make sets for. I actually like Queen of Pain a lot. When I was mid. I played like a decent amount of her, but obviously I'm not very good at mid nowadays, so I never get to play her, but I would love Queen of Pain to be a viable support. I think the issue is like her utility is awkward. So she either needs to be extremely proficient as a lane bully, or they need to give her some kind of utility. And if she becomes too good of a lane bully, then you would just play her in the mid lane and lane bully your way into like a super snowball game. But if you give her utility, then that also opens up her a lot for the mid lane. <clears throat> As like a playmaker. So I don't know. Maybe you could give her a new facet that changes one of her abilities. But that seems uh kind of like shoehorned in. I don't know. Surely the ticket to Texas will be cheaper than buying your own yogurt. Yes, yes. <laughs> Stella, I recommend Clockwork, Lich. Uh, if you like Dark Willow or Tusk or Shadow Demon, you could play any of them. Ringmaster, new hero. You're not going to see him in the pro scene, but he's very good in pub still. Uh, Naga Siren takes a lot more coordination. Kind of tricky. Uh, Warlock, pub classic, still good. Abaddon, pub classic, still good. I like Venomancer. Not technically good. 5.8 MMR? That should be high enough if you want to play Naga, you could make it work. I think a lot of the same position 5s are still really good. I'd say for pubs, try out Lich. I've been, I've been giving Lich a shot. The free mana, while everyone else is suffering on mana, has felt pretty good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stella. Appreciate it. 5.8 MMR. You should be pretty close. I don't know if you play in my server, but you can come grief my game soon. <laughs> I'll grief your games. He's just soft on lane. Which one? Ah, uh, from SEA. 
Well, I do visit Singapore every now and then to see my my, my extended family there. So, grief your games there. <laughs> I'll come over. Oh, but sorry, uh, which one, who, sorry, I, I listed a bunch of different heroes. Which one are you asking if he's soft in lane? I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be looking for clips. We got to work during the stream. Um, Lich. So he's a little on the squishy side, but actually what I think is going to be a good build is a lot of stats. Uh, maybe a bunch of iron branches, maybe some circlets. Because that increases your max mana pool, which means you get more from your innate ability. And then you buy mangoes after that to... Uh, like, it's much better to use the mangoes after your level 3 anyways when you have the 2 points in Q. So you can maybe get, like, one mango early, but then I think a lot of cheap stats to get more out of your innate is good, which will also then help you tank up. Um, and the amount of free regen, mana regen you're getting from the creeps, like, you're squishy, but they're also squishy as you keep blasting them with Frost Blast. So, so far it's felt okay. I'm still spamming them out more to get a, to see, like, where it falls out. Hey, Phenomenox. Um, Keeper, we're not seeing too much of right now. I think it's because... As a mid-hero, it kind of works in the right games, but Spirit Vessel wasn't that great. It did just get buffed, so maybe we'll see a little bit more of him. But so many people were getting pipes and bracers and all of that, which means his magic burst was not quite enough, and he didn't have enough utility uh, to be as consistent as other heroes. So he wasn't very good in the mid lane. As a support, most teams weren't doing that, but a couple a couple were. Like Save on Bet Boom, I remember him doing it. Maybe that was it. I currently can't think of another one, but I know he was doing it. Um, but it just doesn't seem as good. I think he's just not as strong as other supports because of how hard it is to like properly use Illuminate Oh, yeah, I remember that, Joy K. That's actually what, uh, I think that was right before I moved the camera. Oh, no, maybe that one was a mic issue. I remember looking at it, and I didn't end up using it for a short for some reason. And it was either because the camera was the old position, and then I decided to move it after that, or I blew out the mic, and uh, the compressor, like, kicked in overdrive, and then I was, like, way too quiet. Although, with that in mind, I just learned about some different AI stuff that can help you with audio. Maybe I could have used AI to boost my, to fix my audio there. I can look into it later. Well, I don't know where that clip is now, but I'll try it next time something like that happens. Um, Lich build, I've been maxing Q so far. Uh, just because I like getting the shard at some point, And more points in Q than make when they kill the shard better. But also it just helps in like fights because it's so cheap. Use it to shove lanes, farm, get most of your mana back. Um, I think Frost Shield. So if you're going to go Solar Crest, which is really nice because it boosts your max mana and it's just a good item right now. The Solar Crest combos really well with Frost Shield because of the, the damage reduction from auto attacks. And then the barrier lasting longer because of that. So if you're going to get Solar Crest, I would say Max Frost Shield second is really good. If you really need Lockdown, though, like even if you've gotten Solar Crest, then I think you need to get the E, right? Because, uh, I mean, if you need Lockdown, you need Lockdown. But sometimes you don't, or they have tons of ways to cancel it. And then I would go back to the Shield. All right, that's a few too many.
Let's see what they pick. Maybe stick. Or I'm down to try circlet. Casual circlet. Pudge Ogre. Not the best stick game so far. Let's see what else. Yeah, <laughs> happy to see you again, Phenomenox. Um, what do we got? It's been a hot minute. Hmm. Okay, we got a Luna. Zeus Lena. Who's in my lane? Is this a Lena carry, maybe? Zeus mid? A plus. I kind of rec he was in our game earlier. Do we remember what position he was? He was in one of our earlier games. Can we find out real quick? Not that one. He was mid. Oh, he was that mid Huskar. Looks like he's off lane this time. Um, hmm. I kind of like Stick versus Mars, but it's probably not that good versus Pudge. It kind of makes me want to try the circlet, just like max out on stats. But I feel like I should get this stick against the Mars. But I think I will. Beneath my warm exterior. The path of this conflict. Everybody gets set. I think I'm gonna go ward in the lane versus the pudge. <laughs> I'm gonna rush over here and drop it like out here, maybe. Forward. Looks like we lost one. Drifting. Or I can put it out here to spot him rotating. I don't know what I did in a past life, but I certainly didn't deserve no, that. I want to see him, yes. like, out here. Please for me. <laughs> oh, my oh, God, no, no, not like this. A chill wind. <laughs> Juzzy, so true. And we're back. <laughs> 30 seconds to show time. For the Americans, make sure you're registered to vote. I think it's at the cutoff. Texas's was uh, October 7th. My team's got to be careful of Pudge. This is such a classic Pudge hook location. I forgot we had the Ringmaster on our team. I should have... Let me get Pudge hooked away. Go Zeus if you can. Pudge, Pudge. Nice. Ah, uh, fine, fine, fine. I'll go. I feel like it's not worth my time to do this. Holy shit, how many kills did I... I got two of the kills? Damn. I didn't notice. Oh shit, what do I buy, guys? I never know what to do with this much money. I don't think Boots is the play. I'm gonna, guys, free Null Talisman. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if that's any good to do whatsoever, guys, but I've done it. I mean, really, what does one spend this much money on? Going. Let's see if we can get a half pull. Okay. For a second, I thought I just totally whiffed it. Attack. 
Don't hit me, hit the range creep. I didn't even get it. Hmm, I think the shield would protect us from God's Rebuke, which is kind of nice. Lotus is soon. Do I get mangoes? I'm gonna go for the full pull, I think. Where's she going? Top lane is bopped. Uh, let's see if we can help our mid here. Another mid laner who might be tilting out despite we're absolutely stomping top. The Pudge is gonna move. We're gonna need a glimmer cape at some point in this game versus uh freaking ogre mid. One ignite and we're dead. Triangles will help, but uh I think we'll still need a glimmer at some point, potentially. Although actually this game I really wanna rush. What is that? Oh, I misclicked. Hopefully we still get the stack. That box is kinda small. I think we will. I need a creep to die, so I have enough mana for the blast. In this top.
Oh shit, there's a Zeus! Okay, I don't mind coming top and trying to get the uh, Mars kill. I'm gonna walk for this. I hope. Wow, my random auto attack killed the ogre. Unfortunate. Yes. Radiance toughened up their structures. Cold front coming. Nothing to bounce off of. Spend my money. Creep, don't body block me. Body block him. Kill. Whose team are you on? Do it, do well. All right. This is the annoying thing about Ogre mid. I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, it's not a bad Solar Crest game. I do want the shard pretty early, though. Just because it's really useful to see in the arena. Dude, these creeps are going to kill him. <laughs> nice try by the Mars. That timing would have killed the uh, Void if he went there. Let me fill your bottle here if you want. Deleted. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, mid ogre is such a pain. Uh, Seeds of Serenity, damn. Mm. I guess the shovel. Uh, I don't know actually. Maybe I should be getting a glimmer first over the solar. Glimmer and shard. And we have the null talisman at least to help with our mana issues. <laughs> Hope he's okay. That's close.
I'm so scared. Okay, watch my health bar, guys. Two ignites. My trangles are going, and my health is still dropping. Look, we're halfway through. I freaking hate core ogre guys. It's so annoying. Oh my god. All my health in one spell. That regen rune not quite strong enough. I think we just walk out. Sex? Agreed. The other fellas can save their top tower. Let's buy two blood grenades just to tank up a little. Try to get a defensive ward in there, maybe. But while we can, I'll do a deep ward first. Truly. Lucky bounce, lucky bounce. Nice. Where did she go? What kind of Houdini act was that? That was a little deep. I can give you a salve, Luna. Is she done? What is this? The most insane maneuver in the world. Oh my god, I'm so rich. Holy shit. Look at me. Hey, water in, water in. Top tower, top tower. Oh my god, I can go back for the... This is like the most money I've ever had. Got this D board, huh? Your top tower's getting all banged up. Truly. We'll finish Glimmer and then maybe go back for Solar or Blink, possibly. Your top tower's Glimmer. hurting. <laughs> I was going to leave a different rune there because it would be funny. Is it that funny? I don't know. I thought it would be funny. I can uh, portal. Guys, I can portal. Ah, oh, that LSA got me. Am I dead to this shit? Oh, I should have given that to him. Oh, 
I got tranquils. I don't really need this. We still got our solo kill potential too. I thought for sure it would be a, uh... I thought I would have to commit my ult for that, but I guess with all of us here, it's easy peasy. Um, I don't know if I actually care about this fast at this time. The, the right one? But I guess it, I mean, it won't hurt. The left one's funny, but not really necessary, I think. You need a rune. There you go, buddy. Quickly. I'll take your I have not been buying wards this game, actually. <laughs> Maybe we should have put that on the low ground and used the spire. Mm, okay, okay, this is kind of fun. Get off of me! I didn't get any of my shit off, guys. I'm so bad. I got thrown off by my key bind got messed up. Or maybe I just haven't played Lich in so long. I didn't have the Kobold bound. And I was trying to like do that. That threw me off. Died like an idiot there. Bleh. I think we go solar next and just throw it on to, to Luna. It is a mostly magic damage game, but I still think it'll be really good. What's my alternative? Blink to catch people? Probably it. For the solo kills? What do we think, guys? The solo kills? Bongo boots? I guess those aren't bad either. Could keep us going through the ogre spells. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Satanic first. What a build. It's wild. Dead man drifting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I should change that order, guys. I should have used Q first and then. Or W first, then blast. I think this becomes better versus the Satanic. The more I can reduce that healing, the better. I'm gonna go stack and go for Wisdom Runes, I think. Uh, my team's maybe trying to make a play on this Lena. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Ah. Holy shit! The full heal, guys. The 
if you want it. Can you just move this way? Lena's gonna be here in like 30 seconds. Zero, uh, man on. Yes. Quick push and. No man on her halt. quite pan out the way I think we were imagining. Hmm. Is it just lingering true sight from Zeus there? Is there a sentry somewhere over here? I kind of like Whisper the Dread. It's actually a lot of damage. I'm already so rich. Do I really need the Philosopher's Stone? Or are we a super baller? Cobalt's actually perfect for a Roche attempt. No, betrayed by his own kind! Messed up. Neutrals. Hardcore, man. Try to find alternate work. They just destroy you. Probably shouldn't be using it on that. I should have been using it on a hero. I can't believe we couldn't kill anyone in that. This Mar Satanic actually is absorbing a lot of damage and then just healing up. Uh, it got nerfed, the Sand King, the... What you call it? It's teeny tiny now!
The high ground portion of this game is quite difficult. Pudge, Zeus, Mars. We did our own tormentor. <laughs> A chill wind. Oh. <laughs> I could have twin gated through actually. This Mars is actually so hard to kill with his build now. What a tank. Uh, psychic headband will be very helpful. So we still got a while before the next Roche. Patricks are making life so difficult. Okay, go Mars, Mars. Too tanky. That's a mistake. Regret. Yeah, I thought he was on his own. I guess he's too hard. Maybe we'll still get him. Alright. Glaives, Glaives, go! Glaives, go! Nice. Saved. <laughs> oh, that's when it expired. 3220 is when it can start to spawn. Let me do Tormentor and then go set up bottom. Um, I'm thinking about Lotus or... Bongo boots at this point. <laughs> oh. 
I wasn't paying attention to my own health. That's kind of scary. I wonder if I can use the shard to tank sh tank damage. Probably not. That doesn't make any sense. But Dota, so maybe. happening over there. Is this thing? Roche, hello. <laughs> This is scaring me. Okay, Ogre's mid at least. Lena's mid. All right, they're probably not doing anything. Maybe Yules could be good to keep me alive. Rip, what was on that courier? Components for the satanic, if I had to guess. do a blink because I our teammates can't get blink or I can't get hook you know he got a blink for the same idea I think
And I just follow the Luna. <laughs> this song's so nostalgic to me. Agreed. Mars Divine Rapier, what a throwback. I'll wait for everyone. That was scary. See, we're not winning. Get out, this is okay. That's okay. Got ratted. Maybe it's not so okay. Ugh. I feel like this game is so much harder than it needs to be. We were lolzing at the Satanic Mars, but it's doing so much work. He's been making so much space for this team. This is going to be annoying. Oh my god! I'm so bad, guys. Ah! I could've gotten a lot better. Trying to end what's happening here. Really make sure she's dead, you know? Got it, I think. I'm scared, I'm so scared. Where's his divine? Ah, uh, he's got it, okay. Oh God. No way! Um, hmm. This game's so scary. Scary. I could have done a lot better on this fight, which would have made this fight easier. Uh, what do we got? 90 seconds, no void. We can lose one set, it's not a huge deal. There's a freaking skull basher? Oh my god. 
Tell you what, he certainly won't expect that. Move buttons around, guys. I almost killed myself there. Just wait for everyone losing. Another set's not a big deal, I think. Hud Shadow Blade, huh? Alright. Gotta carry dust for this bullshit? What the hell? Oh, I don't have my thing! Chain Frost on death? This is kind of tempting so that when I get insta-deleted by the Mars, we're still contributing. Shield duration's probably better, though. That's so tempting, though, isn't it? Maybe that's better. There's no Mars buyback. I think we can end if we just go. Luna, grab the shield. Just stand behind her and we'll buff her up. Oh, okay. Your top rags didn't make it. Don't let it get you. Nice game. That one was stressful. That was kind of fun, though. There's a little bit of chaos. Oh, NA Dota. I feel like I got a headache from that. <laughs> All right, we bopped our lane. But then I feel like the transition wasn't that good. And it looks like maybe some of that was Ogre being a super lane bully versus melee heroes was making life really tough for Void Spirit. And Void Spirit was kind of our playmaker. Also looks like Lena farmed okay. She was in the jungle, but farming fast. Combustion is cracked. It didn't feel very secure. Pudge four, Pudge Zeus. That's true. I did kind of forget about that. I would not have predicted. Like looking at that draft, I would not have predicted that mix of uh, <laughs> heroes in those roles.
There was one fight we really screwed up. We didn't get our alt off towards the end there. That was when we almost lost, when some of us bought back and died back. That was really scary. If I had done better on that fight, it's probably a cleaner win like five minutes earlier. You did Arc Warden 4 with Visage 3. <laughs> nice. How long are we going to stream today? I'm not sure. I was just uh, thinking about that. Um, I will be working on a video tomorrow. I don't have anything else today. I might stream for another couple hours. I'm not sure if we'll play the whole time, though. We might switch over to, like, doing some replays. Maybe we'll do, like, a variety stuff. I don't know. Play RimWorld or... You know, we were talking about Terraria in the Discord yesterday, and I was thinking it'd be kind of funny if we did a community server, and then you guys just do stuff, and I'll just... I don't even know what I'll do. I'll goof off and get you guys killed. Or maybe I'll be trying, and you guys will be griefing me. I don't know. I feel like that could be kind of funny, though, sometime. I don't know if that's going to happen today, but that was on my mind yesterday. I was thinking about it. How are we doing today? We are countering the mega loss streak from yesterday. You're literally playing right now. Well, you're on the team, Hubris Fall. There we go. You're in. <laughs> I think I was looking. I think up to 16 people could play. So if I'm in it, we could get 15 of you in there, which I think would be pretty funny. I don't really know how servers work, though. It would just be, like, for fun. I don't care if it doesn't, like, work out. We try it once and then end. Who knows? I, yeah, okay, I'll I'll check line later. I got engaged, dude. I didn't tell you that yet, but it just happened this weekend. That would be in my news, though. I'll tell you here. I got engaged this weekend. Wild. Wild. Hope you're doing well, man. What do you think of Bounty Hunter this patch? I think he's good. Um, Pub, pub better than pro. Through and through is kind of ridiculous. This hero never had farming speed and was super dependent on kills. And now you can shuriken through a creep wave and pretty much kill most of them. It's crazy. Haven't played T PC Terraria in years. It, I can't decide if I think it would be more fun to play on a console. I only tried PC so far, right? Because um, I feel like there's just a lot I don't understand. So maybe it's easy in console, but I'm constantly hovering over stuff like, what the hell does this do? What does this do? I feel like that'd be annoying on console, but maybe once you learn everything, it's it's doable. I don't know. <laughs> you still want to hear the story? Um, What is the story? It was supposed to be next week, actually, uh, but my photographer needed to change some stuff. So we went to a park with my siblings as a surprise. Tried to. She's been ready for the engagement forever. So I it couldn't it was very difficult to be an actual surprise but it was surprise enough and we were at a park uh my siblings left for a moment with some weak ass excuse I'm thirsty I have to pee you know and then did the proposal photographer came out we did a photo shoot Did she say yes on the first try <laughs> Yeah, lucky me, lucky me. Your wife didn't? Oh no, that's so stressful. It sounds like it worked out in the end though. I'm glad. She didn't say GG easy. No, that was me after she said yes. It's like easy. No, guys, I'm already a mortal support. It was it was guaranteed. And then I have a 99. <laughs> I was joking with my friend. Where's the ring? There you go. There's the ring. We picked it out together. So it wasn't a 
Like, getting engaged was not the surprise. The actual proposal was the surprise. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um, I think we can play at least one more game. I have it in me. And then from there, let's decide if we're going to do replays or um, maybe some variety stuff. I'll be right back. I need more water. I had good knee angles from my fencing days. I don't know what you do with your hands while you're proposing though, guys. What do these do? Where do they go? This right there. Hello, I love you. Will you marry me? Woo! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, take your meds. Don't forget. These are actually wasabi peas, though. Yeah, Dota strains the brain, honestly. To actively play the whole time is tough. I meant to have the ring out faster. I had to reach in my pocket while I was kneeling. That was awkward. I was panicking in the moment. I only had the ring because the box is huge. Hubris, no problem if we do replays. I'm fine with that. Part of me is kind of feeling that RimWorld Terraria idea, though. Ooh, we did do, that? we picked out the ring what? together. Congrats on the engagement to both Satchmo, of you. thank you. Thank you very much. It's a little surreal. It didn't feel that different yet. After the engagement, I don't think it happened. And sharing the news with people is like a little more real. I think the first time I meet someone new and I, ha I introduce her as my fiance instead of girlfriend, like I think that'll be kind of a big thing. Um, I will be in North Carolina for some of Thanksgiving. I'll check line. We'll message on this. But I, it's going to be a short time, so we're going to see. Yeah, Joy K, you missed it. You'll have to watch the VOD. We, like, did the whole thing right here. I can't believe you missed all of it. That's crazy. Uh, it was this weekend. It was on a uh, Saturday. Right before my sister had to go to the airport. <laughs> Whoa, the whole set? That's impressive. We have not done any planning quite yet. We're going to chill for a little bit. Maybe sometime after Thanksgiving, start putting some serious planning together. Um, I think it really depends on your own relationship, whether it should be like full surprise or like discuss. But I feel like, again, everyone's different, but I think the yes or the no should hopefully not be the surprise part. So there should be some discussion of like, I think this is it, and like, we both know that. And then the actual proposal is more of a surprise. But again, everyone's different, so like, what do I know? I've only, I've only gotten engaged once, guys. I don't have a bunch of experience to speak from here. Joy K, as soon as you step away, the wedding's happening. Boom, right there. Two. Who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. We go hard. You already did. Like, 20 yesterday. Are you sure? This is so much. Thank you. Are we sure about this? <laughs> Thank you, man. I think everyone's got to have a sub now. We can't. No one's left. Everyone's been gifted. That one's for Moon. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Better propose to. I don't think. It, I don't think I'm allowed, guys. I think a second proposal invalidates the first proposal. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Game quality, too, for that. No. Boom. 
dodged. <laughs> Unlucky, guys. The next one for sure headed right over to you guys. Ace J, what's up? Welcome, welcome. See, this is more fun. Chatting with you guys is more fun than looking for clockwork clips. I'll do that off stream. Or maybe we'll just pull it up and then we'll like fake do it. Play RuneScape while I do it. I have to level my fire making for a master clue scroll. Am I making a clock vid? Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to make the clockwork guide. Friday we'll spam clockwork. And then uh the next one will be Lich, I think. Lich has felt pretty good. Supposedly headed to New York tomorrow, but no one is saying what we're about to do. Suspicious. What's going on there? Hopefully something fun. This in the bag. Better get ready. Don't be mad. In the bag. It falls to me to go home. This one is in the bag. <laughs> Thanks, Ace J. No, it's okay. I'm slowly. I I think if I was gifted money and items, it would defeat the the feeling of progress. So I'm I'm good. Thank you though. I appreciate the offer. That's pretty hype though to win it on a on Ditter Bitter stream. That's sick. Lately, I've been doing a lot of like flipping. I haven't been playing actively as much, but I've gotten into the like the grand exchange flipping stuff. I've grown my money significantly since then, actually. It's pretty... I should have been doing it the whole time. Why play the game when you could not play the game and play with stock markets instead? Well, well. Oh, thank you, we go hard on her. That's really nice. Hmm. Battery Assault first is rare. I'm kind of surprised he did it against the uh, Shadow Demon, actually. Wall Street Bets is calling. No, no. I don't have real money to do that kind of thing with. That's why I do it in RuneScape. It's no real money. It's all fake. I could lose all of it, and it's whatever. What's the worst that could happen? You have to play hundreds of hours to get your stuff back? <laughs> Whatever. Whoa, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. A hype chest? What is this? Open. Oh, shit! Raccoon pop emote. I love raccoons. Wait, what is this? How do I do this? Share. Choo choo! What is this? A balloon raccoon? Yo, fire! Thank you for the prime sub. Sorry, I got distracted there with this this raccoon here. This is sick. Did you see that post about the dude who spent 700k inheritance on Intel stocks the week before it plummeted? No, dude. I'm telling you, that's why I can't. Well, I would never take that big of a risk, actually. I, For real money, I just do very standard stocks. Uh, like when I was working, all of it's just in basic stocks. Uh, we never actually got to try Lich 4. Um, I don't have that kind of money. I don't know how I would deal with that. Like those insane drops in Wall Street bets. Crazy. Crazy. Not for me. 
Tinker Sand King. Dota Plus thinks I'm mid. Interesting. Ask for an Arc Warden. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, we double down. We roll our candy store things. That's my fill of gambling. I do gambling in video games because I don't want to touch it in real life because I think I would... I think I'd probably be able to control it, but I, you know, also don't want to risk... I feel like I would enjoy it too much. <laughs> so I, st I stick to video games. Can't ruin my life in video games. Can only ruin it in other ways. Uh, do you think this is the carry SF? I don't know what's happening here, actually. Can someone tell me who's going where in this draft? I think it's an offlane Sand King. Five, four... One, two, 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 one. What's happening here? I'll get a stick. I don't know if I should get a stick, but I'll get a stick. Who's my off laner? Axe? Okay. We can be annoying together. I think this can work. Took a break from Dota. You want to get back into playing ranked. What are the top three position five nowadays? For pubs, Lich is looking really good and Warlock, depending on your rank. At the pro level, you're going to be looking at heroes like Naga, Shadow Demon, Tusk. Uh, Clockwork and Dark Willow are really strong, though. Maybe Dark Willow is more of a four. Is that most of them? I think those are most of the top fives. I think Crystal Maiden's looking good, too, because of the recent nerfs to mana on Arcane Boots. Let's see how First Bloods go. This is why we don't double down yet. You're doing very well. I'm very proud of you. Guys, the first minute of Dota is to play, not to pee. <laughs> and so the dead. Bury the dead. Cold front coming. Wind Ranger's going top. Yes. SF has a wand. It's a bounty mid. Dead man drifting. Just trade with Tinker.
Oh, we made him miss two last hits. Hilarious. Lotus is soon. I think he'll be in an okay spot. I think I want to go home. I'm like torn on that. They're pulling, but I think if I stay, I'm not going to do much and I'm just going to get killed by burst. I'm going to run home and TP out. Yeah, the lane's still in an okay spot, so. Let's hope he's doing okay. They just got some kills top. That's good. We're almost level three, so our bullying can be a bit better. Though... His raise combo uh, still is good. Tomatoes great. right now. What the fuck is this guy? No breaking down the radiant structure. Oh my lord. This guy's... <laughs> Mm, yeah, Tinker's still okay, but I think he's just tricky to pull off because of... Um, he's just really greedy. His team might struggle with that in the early game. Later, it'll be good with the bounty. But we'll see if it comes into play here. Just like... Uh, the space you need is hard to find in a pub game when your cores don't really play active and give you space. Rich gonna have your man up. He was going to go to the lane, but it's fine. Forward. 
healing bounty might be looking at Axe. Stay in lane, get uh, XP. Shadow King kind of low? Uh, we already used Zeus ult earlier. Squirted, squirted, squirted. This is where being Lich 4 is awkward. Since I'm not a playmaker, it has to be the mid or the... Fuck! And yeah, we got... They can really do this? Without getting punished? Take all their stacks, rape us, and nothing? It's kind of harsh language to be using, don't you think? Didn't pull him into the tower enough. Zeus tippy bottom. Zeus tippy. the power shot actually I don't know they're pinging a ward but I think bounty was just there wasn't he I don't know if I should drop the sentry there Try to get our level six and just anything. I'm dirt for this game. I think being Lich was an unfortunate matchup in a tinker who has the healing. So we were trying to like harass with Frost Blast, and then he's just like, haha, machines. Yes, they did have a ward.
They're coming top, they're coming top. Okay, finally, got a fight going in our favor. Farm the lane, I don't think you can farm and shit. And don't go top anywhere where there is no tower, please. Okay, I assume the enemy is gonna be dropping a bunch of observers and sentries in there if that's how many they've got. Bounty is coming from here. Maybe I should have warded there in that time. I'm not sure if I believe in it. Also, it's kind of lazy to salve there. Or maybe not lazy, it's like unnecessary. Is Solar the play this game? I don't think so. I think maybe just like... Couriers, holy shit, massacre. So much for the radiance courier. Oh little fella. Your mid towers. Cool oh, god. Hard. These things. Ah! Cancelled it by accident. Ah. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? I 
this all this going to meet. Hello, hello. Nice, nice. My poor courier has been running around in circles. Do I care about the shard? I think this game we just hope we get it. I don't know if we actually oh, buy nice. it. Though it's kind of useful to find Tinker. Forward. Actually, shard blink is like really good setup for Zeus and Spectre to jump in to get kills. Shadow Demon, the safe support is always in the wrong place, dude. Uh -oh. I've never once been used disruption on I told you, just fuck. Even now, Hello, he's still Shadow farming. Demon. Hello, Shadow he, Demon. he still Shadow hasn't Demon. used. Farming, bro. Hello. Chats are getting toxic. He still hasn't moved. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Go in this. I can't be found. Uh, didn't have my alt yet. Otherwise, that's looking like a good fight. Uh, I think the. The specter is relatively farmed. We're kind of reaching that point where we should be able to get a lot of pick offs. I think this is our weak point compared to their draft, so maybe it's okay. Yeah, this game seems tough, but we'll see what happens. 20 minute Tormentor and Wisdom Rune. Stack this as well while we're here. Going. They're here, they're here. Bounty, bounty. Screw that guy. He stole our wisdom ring though. Sucks. I 
think I'm super freaking dead, guys. <laughs> mm, torn. Kind of want money and mana, but we also really need to tank up. And bracers no longer exist. I would literally just be spending my money on tanking up. A very tough call there. A controversial one, I'm sure. I think a lot of people would prefer Philosopher's Stone. Can we do Tormentor? He's got the Greaves. Wow, this guy's taking literally no damage. He's farming in front of the Spectre. He's killing the Spectre. He is defeating the Spectre. I was a little slow on rotating there. I thought she would just back away, not engage in a fight to the death. Tickled. Didn't make it to stack. Maybe I could have thrown my blood grenade. That's probably cost effective. Yo, any Tormentor fans? It's very good, this game. All right, team shifting to the right? Yes, yes. Go, go, go. Perfect, a salve for right after I die trying to do Tormentor. Yes, we got it. Let's go. Truly. Uh, we got triangle boots. Alright, I'm gonna get the blink because if I can blink, fear, ult, whatever combo, then Spectre and Zeus can easily follow up. It's my idea. I don't know if it's good. That's what I'm going for, though. Holy shit, this guy's so many smokes. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. A lot of them are top. Careful. They're all gonna be up here. fast enough for this oh what a good shackle We shouldn't even try that actually. We should probably just take the Wind Ranger kill and get out. Once the blink doesn't happen, the blink call should just leave. Almost feel bad for your top tower. So much for your top tower. That top tower here is 
hit him with a blood grenade to cancel his. Are you kidding me? This hit me right before the shackle or the what's it called? That wisdom rune, but I'm still going. So, got shadow step. Uh, okay, I should be up top with them, not down here. Fantastic. Wish I'd used Glimmer in time. I don't think it'll kill him anyways, but. All right, we got a tank back up. Um, what are we building? Anyone getting a pipe? I have a glimmer though, so I don't really want to get both. I believe in the eggs. Maybe his bongo boots could be okay. Or maybe some kind of dispel. Sand King?
don't think we should have chased that hard, but the fact we got the dieback on the bounty is kind of okay. Do I have to buy back, actually? Kind of expensive. You have Shadow Step? Oh, I didn't have my my thing. I feel like we had the Zeus stuff too. Why didn't we do that? I did go I, I goofed on the Ice Spire, so that's on me, but I feel like we could have gotten that. I don't know. I guess with Sand King it's kind of scary. All right, it doesn't seem that scary. I don't know. <laughs> All right, kind of scary, kind of scary. But there's a tinker here that wasn't in the last time, you know? Blink if he doesn't cancel on Dust Devil. I don't know if Ags is actually any good, but I'm gonna get it to try it out. I don't know if I pinged Roche. Nope. That wisdom still there. Nice. Someone just TP'd here as well, I heard. Yes. So we're gonna chill for a moment. But we can maybe set up a solo. Or not a solo, but you know. The global coming in. Try to get me. I think not.
Oh, forgot this one. Uh, I didn't need to ult. That was unnecessary. Change the way this targets? Yes. What happened to the Tormentor? Ouch. I don't know. Maybe Ogre Seal? I don't actually love like any of those. Imagine having AoE fear and then still only targeting. That's going on the YouTube video. Truly. Yes. Truly. Cold Where's this SF? He knows he can't show anywhere. Adrift. Unlimited chain frost bounces. We've almost reached peak potential. He saw me, what the heck? I mess that up, guys. I messed up my E. Look, guys, never believe anyone who says GG. It's all fake in NA. In every region, it's all fake. No one means GG. Everyone wants to win.
There's no honor. Is Spanish Korea and Crusader going to get me anywhere? Um. If you learn how to win all your lanes. And then learn how to cut creep waves effectively. That can get you pretty far. Because people just won't deal with Treant very well and they'll waste a lot of time. You won't get the same, like, pick-off potential. Uh, Alright, we might actually lose here. Creeps in the base, someone's gonna have to leave. Never mind, they have a Tinker. Alright, Axe dying like that may have just screwed us. Wait for two of them. Delay, 20 seconds to let. Okay, that was dicey. Back to grief builds. I don't know if it's actually grief. I think it could be good. I have like really powerful ult now. Unlimited bounces. I have no buyback. BKB might be good though, huh? My nose itches so badly, but this is not the time to scratch the nose. Can we can die? Oh, rush, rush, rush. Wish we'd killed that courier. It's probably a pretty significant item. Gotta be really careful not to die without getting my combo off. We have unlimited bounces, which means we can pretty much get someone killed. Let's 
guys. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Do bind, do bind, do bind, guys. I'm a baller. Who took the divine? Zeus. Magic divine, guys. I've never seen that in a game yet. That's the first time. Burn me, burn me, please. Oh, who's that? I'm Thank afraid to buy everything. 48 months. Time flies, Skio Chikiro. Yo, Matsu, what's up? How you doing? 48 months is crazy. Should I just buy this out? YOLO, who cares? If we lose, disaster. I bought the refresher for the post game stat. Alright, that was a that was a bit of a scary one. I think the AGs did pay off. We found a couple good catches. The the global combo, like shard and alt is not enough to get solo kills, but in combination with the global response is uh, enough to set that up by myself, which is really worked out pretty well with this draft, I'd say. These guys are fine. Some of these guys, not so much. Is this the mid bounty build? I actually. I, I find the idea very interesting of like, you get a bunch of gold and you won a lot of fights, so you build the auras for your team. That's a very old mid style, like decade ago. So I'm told because I didn't play in that time. Um, but wouldn't like an orchid or something just be better and just get like the solo kills himself versus like our sad squishy supports? I don't know. How much damage did we do? 37k. More than axe. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think position four was that impactful, though. Some of it was just that the matchup's not great. Tinker to heal is more efficient than my Q spam. But... I think position five Lich felt better than position four based off of like one game. Um, yeah, let me show you the combo. This will be in the video later, but we can do it here now. Uh, it kind of depends what they have. So once you have the shard, oops. The important thing to remember is that you can cast things while using your fear. You can use all your abilities and items. So you can do this and then throw the ult, like that kind of thing. Level one fear is not very long though. So it's easier once you get more levels in it to do this. And then um, from here, it just depends. Like if they have some kind of escape or blink, then you need to lead with the fear because it's instant. But if they don't, and they're a slow hero, like say bounty, and maybe you dust first, but you can come in and then alt, and then fear, and then drop the the spire as needed. Uh, but if you're dealing with like void spirit, storm spirit, ember, puck type heroes, you're gonna have to fear. Oh, let's get away from that thing. Fear, and then alt, and then drop the spire. So long as you're using the Frostbound facet, because Frostbound means that it sticks to the bounty, so you don't have to have the timing perfect. If you're using the other facet, then you're going to have to fear, drop the Spire, and then ult. 
because you need to have a bounce target if you're using the other facet. Otherwise, your ultimate will disappear. Oh, shit, the ads. Lol. Okay, I'll, I'll repeat that in a bit. <laughs> Are you guys back? Thank you for watching the ads, guys. It supports me. <laughs> um, what was I just saying? If you are... I guess to summarize what we just said... Are we back? Is it still ads? My blades grow thirsty. Let me just make sure before we repeat. PCX, are you here? You're the one who asked the question, so we at least need you here. <laughs> Let's give these guys some health. Okay, so if you're dealing with a mobile hero, you pretty much have to lead with the fear because it's instant, and otherwise they could dodge your ult, they could dodge the rest of the combo because they already escape. So any mobile hero, start with the fear. And then if you're using Frostbound, which is more popular right now anyways, uh, this means that when you alt someone, it sticks around for a little bit, right? So there's, there's, there's room to work with. If you're using the other facet and there's nothing to bounce, it'll just disappear. So if you're using Frostbound, you can start with the, the fear, throw the alt, and then use the spire. So it'll be like, like this. And then you can use the other spells if you have time. If they don't have an escape, kind of like how Bounty doesn't, like he has an invis, so I mean dust first. Um, but if they don't have it, then you can throw the alt first. Maybe even the spire. But you need to keep them near the spire to do the most damage. And since you can cast the spire while using the fear that's kind of the easiest and you see it won't kill them but it'll do quite a lot of damage for someone else to come in and finish or if you've got other heroes with you or you're just high leveled um if you're using the other facet just make sure you drop the spire first like that also actually i just it hadn't occurred to me, but you should probably do it this way. Drop, well, I guess you can drop the Spire kind of where you need it in the fight, but also if you're just doing a solo kill, drop it in front of them because they're pulled into you. So if you drop it back here, then it's getting further for the bounces. But if you do it like here, then it keeps it super fast. And then as he tries to run away, it's super slow. You can also then drop the Frost Shield on the, the Spire too. Yeah, happy to help out, guys. Happy to help. That'll be repeated in the, the guide video. I don't think you have to play that way for the record. I think the easiest way to play is like follow behind someone with a solar crest, and then when they go in, solar frost shield. But this is just another option you have in the right games for um, like shard and ags and stuff, or alt. Is there any advantage to not fear first? Uh, you effectively buy yourself more time. Like, let's say, let's say someone has BKB. No, let's take BKB out. Let's just say someone can teleport away and you have one stun. This applies to anyone, not just Lich in this combo. So if you lead with the stun, let's say the stun is two seconds. You have two seconds to kill someone. And then they're going to immediately teleport or use their escape. And so let's say it's a teleport. You have three seconds to kill them. So a total of five seconds to kill them, and then you're done. If you can hold the the stun because you have a slow or you just don't need it right away, you essentially increase that time because they have to wait for you to use your stun before they can use their teleport. Or maybe they have an escape that you can cancel, something like that. Uh, you see like a roll starting, so you stun, something, whatever. The longer you can hold your stun, like you hold it for half a second longer and then you throw it, that's half a second longer that you have to kill them. 
So the longer you don't have to use your stuns, the more you can just right click and chase. Then, okay, I should have just left it in the demo lobby to explain this. Have you played so much lit? Um, I think it was a, it's not recent at this point, but it's not, it wasn't old. It, it, it didn't work this way when it first came out. Places, everyone. I don't know where it happened. So it used to be a scepter. In 7.3 in 2021, you used to need an Aghanim Scepter to be able to cast other abilities. And then somewhere they changed that. I must have zoomed past it. Oh, here. So 7.36, which is only 2024 in May. So it's not that surprising. I don't know when you last played it. But in May 2024, you can now do it without the Aghanims. Um, okay, so then the other thing with, uh, when to use your stun, actually Lich stun's bad example, cause it's, uh, it's channeled. It still kind of applies conceptually, but let's use, let's use Lion, I guess, cause he throws his stun. So let's say you initiate on a target, they initiate on you, you blink on them, whatever, whatever happens. So if we're right next to each other and I stun first and then attack, He's just gonna run and I can kite move, but at some point, especially if he's faster, he's gonna get away because when you stand still to attack, then he doesn't, right? And he just keeps running. So if you're already next to each other and you don't have to stun, then you can just attack and like, it's really hard to do this. What is happening? You can attack and like kite move. And then when they're about to get out of range, then you throw your stun and you get a little closer so you again extend the amount of time you have to attack move and run them down. Um, so when possible, if you cannot lead with a stun, that's ideal. But there's just a lot of situations where you do have to start with a stun because they have things like BKBs or escapes or whatever. And you just have to try to like chain stun, kill them in one go. But especially in the early game when people don't have those tools, that's where you want to try your best to like min max the time before you actually throw the stun out to increase the time you have to just run and attack. Yeah, there'll be a clockwork guide first and then a, a, lich, gate, a lich guide after that. I don't know exactly when, but. <sighs> okay, how was that? Whenever we go on win streaks, we don't double down. Um, five wins. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We got back in rhythm a little bit. Yesterday, we weren't playing the best, but we also had some toxic teams. I think today was better in teams. Um, I don't know if I want to play another game. I'm up for maybe some RimWorld or we do a couple replays for you guys. Maybe both. Maybe we do like one or two replays and then we do some variety. It's the double downs that cause the lose streak. Wow, my double down is like extra powerful. It's like, oh, if you lose, you lose twice the MMR. Also, your next three games are griefed. What? Okay, guys, what if Valve would actually rig matchmaking? No longer double down tokens. It's like whatever team you get next, you're locked in for the next three games. You have a super toxic team. Then the next three games, you have a bunch of toxic teammates, griefers, account buyers. If you have good teammates, you'll only get good teammates next. <laughs> they just lock in the rigged system. I finished the monkey game. Was it good? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it probably depends what kind of game you like. But in terms of a, um, like, in adventure, adventure, I don't want to call it Dark Souls because it's, it's kind of easier than Dark Souls. But it's the same, like, vague, not really clear objectives. You can miss a bunch of stuff. 
Um, kind of like an adventure game that you have to figure out without a lot of help. Um, but it's maybe not as difficult, in my opinion, as some Dark Souls games. Uh, it was really fun. It looked really nice. Graphics were great. It did lag our computer a bit. I had to buy a new graphics card, but it looked great. I can't even imagine what it looks like at like top level. I think you're describing them fixing behavior score. I have a really, in my head, it's really funny. I'm going to make it at some point, I think. I want to do a, yeah, we can do your replay. Send, send one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to make a short about the behavior score system, but I worry it's like biting the hand that feeds you kind of thing, you know? Where I'm not trying to be toxic to Valve, but I do think the behavior score system could be improved. So I, I haven't fully decided if I want to make this short and release it. But it's really funny in my head. Which is how a lot of stuff is. And then, you know, maybe it's not as funny when it actually happens. Uh, I'll see. I, I might make it just because, like, uh, I'll learn some editing stuff to do it. And then we'll see if I actually release it. All right, let's watch PCX's uh, replay, and then I'm going to see how I feel after that. Maybe we'll keep doing replays, maybe we'll switch. Let me put the desk in standing mode, though, and get more water and all that. I'll download this, and we'll refill for everything. Wait, guys, guys, guys. Way, way more exciting than the engagement news. This is a joke for the record. Um, It's because the engagement is like personal news, so it's like awkward, embarrassing to share. But this is way more exciting. I regularly go to Goodwill, which is like a thrift store. Because um, there's a couple near like places where we go for like groceries. So there was a Goodwill that uh, I dropped by looking for a fan to use for plants because I'm like seeding some stuff and then they need wind so that the stems grow strong or whatever. So I was going to go find like an old cheap fan. While we were there, my girlfriend found some badminton rackets and usually they're all garbage. They're like the Walmart kind you can get that like they're made for like kids. It's like, oh, it's fun outdoor sports, but they're like a piece of shit. You know, they're not like real badminton rackets, but... She found some and they had like, she noticed it because the grip was really worn out. And she's like, wow, whoever used this must have really liked it, that the grip is all worn out. And then I recognized the brand and the names and like, I can tell it's way better quality. The Goodwill workers did not. So they only valued it at a dollar. We bought four of them. Um, came back to double check out the brands. If I were to buy those, it's like $400 plus. What a Goodwill buy. That's so exciting. <laughs> So we found a bunch of like old high quality, not old, but like used, donated, whatever, uh, badminton rackets. So we got some new grips. I got to put the wrap on, but that was exciting. 
That's why thrift stores are so fun. You never know what you're going to get. All right, let's, uh, where's the thing? We switch over to this game info. This was what, Divine? I didn't even see who you're playing, PCX. Divine what? It's in the bag. Are you five here? Looks like it, yeah, five. Tinker time. Well, I I knew the engagement would work that. out, but I didn't know I would find a 99.5% discount on badminton rackets. How exciting. Now, badminton is so fun. I like badminton. Uh, I grew up playing very casually with my family, just like bouncing things around. College here, you have to do health class. So I took one badminton course just for fun. Um, but then recently no need for my friends are part of like this, uh, Asian church group and they have like a whole badminton set up and everything. So we go with them and we, <laughs> we play. Oh, yeah. Eat dinner. 30 seconds to go. They are shuttlecocks. That's official. That's official terminology. <laughs> You're just whacking the shuttlecocks around, back and forth. Sometimes it's two people, sometimes it's four people. Oh wait, let me see what PCX was saying about this game. You guys watched this first blood fight. Uh, maybe you're farming a bit too much, just want to know how my map play is. Going to drive now, if you want to skip some laning. Would like to hear what you think. I did well and could improve on. Okay, okay. I need to work on my smash, but it's weird. Okay, so like, okay, uh, real quick, we're gonna skip ahead in this game because he wants to talk about his map play. So we don't need to see the laning stage for that. We will jump to like when he's close to level six because I'd say that's that's when we care the most for Tinker. Um, it's very mixed skill level. So then to practice the smash, like sometimes I play against some people and I feel fine doing it. Like they'll smash it into my face. I'll smash in their face, it's fine. But at other times we do like mixed groups of like skill level and then it's like, that's too mean to smash, I can't do that. So then I don't do it. And then I like, I don't have a good habit of smashing because I don't regularly practice it. Or like there are times I know I should smash it and then I'm like, ah, oh, but it would be, it'd be mean, you know, so I'll do it light. And then they return and they score. And I'm like, son of a bitch, I should have smashed on their, <laughs> so I don't have a, I don't have a good skill, skill for that. I need to maybe practice that more. You're ambidextrous. I am not, but for fun, I will play with my left hand for different things. Like when I did fencing, I don't consider myself ambidextrous, but I think I'm better at it than like average. When I did the badminton course, I actually started left-handed because so many people were bad. And I was like, it won't be any interesting, like it won't be fun if I play with my right hand. But then there were some people who were good. So then I was like, I don't lose to those people. Switch right back to the right hand. Gonna practice and be good. All right, let's see, he hit six. Let's, uh, we focus, we focus. He's a gentle smasher. <laughs> That's me. Um, okay, you are rushing Pavis. Uh, I think it's pretty popular to get like two Null Talismans, right, on uh, Tinker? I haven't done it lately, but just the, the intelligence to get the reduced cooldowns. Although, I guess with the nerf, maybe it's not good anymore. I hadn't thought about that, actually. Let me just do a real quick search. Are Tinker players still doing this? Mm, looks like a lot of people are still getting at least one, if not both. Even though it's not going to double, it's still cheap, cheap intelligence at the start of the game. It used to be like across the board, always two. But now I'm seeing a mix of like one null talisman, a couple people doing no ta null talisman. So maybe it's fine. Maybe still getting one is good. Alternate hands after each hit. Is that allowed? Is there a rule against it? I actually, I said I took the course. I can't remember anything I learned. I, is it, can you swap rackets? 
regularly. Like, I know there's different, like, oh, this one's light, so it's better for this. This one's, like, good for smashing, whatever. Can you swap between points? Is that a, is there a rule against that? What I want to check here is, uh... Okay, so they they want to push bottom, and I don't know if you noticed on the minimap, but Tusk is coming down here. There's at least three heroes, so you should consider coming bottom pretty quickly to make sure you can get this going. Like, it should already be going, and then your team maybe doesn't even have to be there. So you stomp home, ult, and then should be going bottom, like, right away. Okay, I guess you do... I just had to double check, and then they just happened to, like, jump immediately. I guess you kind of made it here, like, literally last second that you could. I would just keep in mind that... Nice. I would just keep in mind that, like, you kind of waited mid to, like, really farm it all with a second cast. But as long as you press W once, the lane will push, which is your job. And you don't have to do the second if there's something else urgent going on. Ideally, we would be there for the farm and XP and all that. But if you think like a push is happening bottom, you do kind of have to make sure you're there early. I don't think so. I think you should have jungled there. Uh, so like this creep wave, Lena wasn't here for. So like coming for this one's kind of fine. But look at Lena, how she's gonna farm this stuff. And then you have to ask yourself, like, what's Lena gonna do? If the tier one tower is up, then it's gonna reset, and then the wave's gonna be here pretty quickly. She could go back there. But it's pushed up because the tier one tower is down. So she's not gonna want to go mid again right away. She's want she's gonna want to come left. So this is actually Lena's farm ideally. I would say places your team does not want to be is like back here. You know, this is like a weird spot or like this camp. This is weird. So after you get the creeps under the tower, because no one else was, and you see Lena making her way over, I would actually leave this creep wave. And if the timing works out that you could maybe jungle the ancient camp and the next one spawns and that doesn't disrupt anyone, then that could be good. Otherwise, like, TP here, farm this camp, or farm, like, some of this stuff. Places your team does not want to be. But in the lane, like, uh, you don't have to be in those if someone's nearby. In your honest opinion, what makes Dota better than Lowell? Or is it just totally different? I actually did play both. But I know League is very different now compared to what I played. But in my opinion, there's just way better balance in League. I disagree with their overall design philosophy. Hold on, we're gonna start multiple rants at once, but let me let me at least finish with this thought here for uh, PCX since he did redeem this. So you TP back here. This is kind of okay, but keep in mind, like if you're farming this, P oh, PA shouldn't really be here actually. You kind of have a separate issue. This is where I was saying, like, playing Tinker is, like, very tricky in pubs because, like, other people need to know where they need to go. PA should not be dealing with defending the tower. This is your job now. This would be... They keep coming here. For the last few minutes, they keep coming here. Your number one job, every time the creep wave is coming in, you already have March of the Machines going twice. Instantly kills the push, and they can keep trying. They're like, oh, wait for the next creep wave. Again, two creep waves already going. That should be your job. Your team should recognize that. They should play somewhere else. And then be ready to teleport when you get dove and you have like two machines and like defense matrix on yourself hoping that you live long enough as they all rotate in but the enemy will all be weak because they're into multiple marked machines that should be in your ideal gameplay this is what tinker would be doing they're here it's awkward that makes defending like farming this awkward you could do this if this was only you down here then this would be perfect do this do this go home come back repeat but because PA is standing here, you want to help them defend, but PA splitting just a creep wave between three of you is not going to be any good, so she also needs access to this. 
So it's... I, I'm not saying it's your fault. It's just like, this is why it's really weird sometimes playing Tinker in pubs. Um, I would say if you know they're about to push, then you should just come up and like march the machines. I guess you didn't know that they were going to go on the Wind Ranger. It's not really your fault she just died like this. Um, okay, quick pause, quick talk about League, back to Dota, back to League. I think the design philosophy is a lot stronger for Dota, which is like a properly balanced game. We go through like broken stuff, sure. But I think the depth of Dota is much better and much more balanced. League has a really strong marketing. I'm jealous of them for that. Really good marketing. They do a lot of cosmetics to make money. I hate that you have to buy heroes. I think the fact that you have to buy heroes to have a hero pool, a champion pool, inherently makes the game unbalanced. Because it doesn't matter what the meta is, you can't follow it if you don't have those heroes. So you have to spend real money. And I know you can unlock it for free after you play like every single day for this many games, right? Like you can now buy the broken hero, which we've now shuffled out and completely redesigned the kit and introduce a new broken hero and here's a brand new skin for it. It's got to be broken so you buy the skin and spam this hero. Once you finally unlock enough free points, we're going to shuffle that again. I hate that design philosophy and I think it leads to never having a balanced game because like we get a bunch of balance changes, right? We all have a rough idea and then if you go and take a look at Dota Pro Tracker, Dota Buff, whatever, and you look at trends, we have the entire collective Dota community to see this hero is doing well. We don't know perfectly why, but across all the MMRs, you can see like the win rate shifted this way, the pros are trying it this way. Everyone has access to that hero to try it. League does not. It's like, well, only the hero specialists who love that hero have that hero, and they might be winning just because they know that hero, right? So I think in terms of balancing the game as a whole, League does not have that capability because of not having the entire champion pool. I also think their own just design philosophy is more about individual skill and like skill shots and shit. Um, and they want you to spam heroes because you can't buy other heroes. You can't develop a hero pool and a play style. You only can afford a couple heroes like whoever's broken at the moment. So that's the one champion you get to play. And that one champion to make sure you don't quit the game has to have a like viable matchup versus most other heroes. All right, rant on hold, pause, Dota. Came right back, this is fine. I don't know if you forgot Arcane Boots doesn't build out of this anymore, or you just had this because you were going for Pavise and you changed your mind. I'll assume it was Pavise and change your mind. Okay, right now, if you're choosing where to go, I would go down here. But it's not perfect. But it is where I would go. Like, if... So, PA in the jungle is fine. If Darkseer and Windranger could keep pushing top, and then Lena maybe rotates up, and then you farm this stuff and hold this tower, and then you show up top as needed, that would be ideal. Except you guys already lost this tower. So it's hard to join... I actually kind of want to play League again, guys, just to see, like, what rank I could get. I just don't know if I have time, really. But I would just be curious. And even though I'm shit-talking it a bit, in the end, you play whatever game you like, you know? Um, and that's fine. I'm not trying to, like, flame someone for enjoying something. I just personally don't like it for the reasons I've been going into. I like stuff about it, but, like, when I'm picking which MOBA I'm going to dedicate 10,000 hours to, you know, pick the game I liked more. I guess this is kind of okay, because your other teammates can't really do that ancient camp. I think League's action is really slow. 
Let's see, this is fine. You're trying to like react to a play being made. Your team's not being very proactive. This goes back to my complaint about Tinker and Pubs. It's, if everyone's passive, there's like nothing for Tinker to do. Uh, this is fine. League has some stuff that like, they want you to play a certain way, which kind of exists in Dota 2, but I think it's much more open for players to figure out how they want to play and like what's good in the patch and then do it. But League is like, this is the objective that you want to take. You're not supposed to take towers before 10 minutes. We want laning to be this long, so we're going to put extra defense on the tower so you can't take them early with an early tower push. Like, it's technically possible, but it's, like, really hard, you know? You know the drill. I hate that. I, I really dislike that. Flash, which everyone has to take, is, like, a six-minute cooldown, but everyone has to take it, and everyone has to use it. I know not everyone. Like, 95% of cases, though, from what I know, the entire time the game has existed. It's the Blink Dagger of Dota, except it's, like, four staff distance, and it's six-minute cooldown. That's boring. Like, you use it, and then you have to be so careful, or you die. That, that's why, like, Dota has way more action and way more kills, because it's, it's much lower cooldown. Like, everything is broken. You know, Dota... League players come over, and they're like, oh, my God, it's a two-second stun? You're like, yeah, everyone's got one of those. That's low. Right? <laughs> We have a ton of broken mechanics, but it leads to, like, way more action. Anytime you tune into, like, a pro league match, it's, like, 2 to 5, and it's 20 minutes in, and then there's one fight, and then it's over. It's, like, a very slow game that then just ends, which I think is, like, not very interesting. And I don't keep up with league, so maybe it's different, but every year I check in, it's that way again. Like, I check into a pro match, the kills are extremely low, one guy flashes, and then they all, like, wait for six minutes. And then there's one team fight where everyone flashes, and then they lose the next six minutes because they don't have their flashes anymore. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, like, that's it. But the marketing team kills it. Their songs, their shows. Arcane was an amazing anime. Fantastic. Their lore is cool. The world building's cool. Art might not be your style, but you can't deny that, like, for what it is, they put a lot of effort into it. And it, uh, if you like it, then it looks great. If you don't like that style, I mean, that's fine. Okay, we focused again. There's no jungler in Dota? No. But you can... You you don't need to. I actually have a video on this. We have different mechanics, so we don't need a jungler. Which, I don't think it's wrong to have a jungler, right? It's just how you want your game. And I think that kind of forced role is okay. Like, we want a 1-1-1-2 one, 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 lanes, right? Like, that's fine. Um, but because we have things like stacking and forced spawn times every minute. Oh my god, that was close. Forced spawn times every minute. We don't need a jungler. The league jungle only starts spawning after you kill it. So it's like you have to kill them off cooldown. They also introduce items to enable jungling. We kind of had like Iron Talon for a bit. And it's kind of back again. <laughs> but... In general, there's not, like, unique items for the lanes. Like, Bottle is maybe the most unique, but technically anyone can get it. Uh, but League has, like, supports by this item to enable supports. Jungles build jungle items to get more gold from jungle. Right? It's, like, forced rolls. Um, and the way they have their mechanics is, like, you, you need a jungler to do that stuff. But Dota doesn't really need it because of how we have our own jungle mechanics. And everyone can roam as well because of the teleport scroll. This is also a reason League has very low action because the only... A few heroes have teleports. Everyone can take a teleport spell that is also like a six minute cooldown. But Dota, like everyone has the like 100 second... Uh, or sorry, 60... Wait. Why did I say 100 seconds? Am I dumb? 80 seconds. Tinker has the reduced cooldown. I think the old teleport, we had one. Oh, maybe I'm thinking 100 mana. 
Which it isn't even... I don't know what I'm thinking of, guys. 80 seconds, you could be, like, anywhere on the map. But in League, it's like, oh, we don't know where the jungler is. So now we have to be scared. Once the jungler shows bottom, everyone knows the top lane can't have a hero in it for, like, at least a minute. But that doesn't... Like, we have the Twin Gate teleports. Multiple heroes can, like, globally move around. That's another reason there's, like, more action in Dota. Does Timeless Relic affect Basher Abyssal Blade? I'm actually not sure. I think so. That would make sense to me. But Dota's funny sometimes where it doesn't happen. I actually don't think you need to teleport back right now because I saw them invade your triangle. You could probably push another wave, but I understand being scared. So it's not like a huge deal. You should run up though rather than down here because they're going to come up. Oh, look at that. Because they were in your triangle, so if they're connecting on the PA, they're going to come in from this angle. Oh my god. Oh wait, I thought that was your teleport. <laughs> glimmer, glimmer! Oh shit. Guys, Tinker's so ridiculous. Look at this bullshit. Like, I think he's gonna die, but like... <laughs> Look how long that took. I think you live if you go up after you go to that PA. And then just like TP out of the trees before they can get up there. What's happening here? Appear the split pusher. Uh, it's more you just don't have an active hero on your... Or you kind of have Darkseer, but you guys didn't really play around it earlier. Now you're stuck. So you definitely need to be here spamming March of the Machines as this... Uh, creep wave comes in. If they're pushing. It looks like they're not pushing, so we can kind of chill. The fact that PA just walked up to is pretty wild. Yeah, best do something about that bottom tower. Mm, I think this is overkill. Unless you think they're pushing bottom, but you already have one in your tri uh, your jungle. It's probably you need like a Roche ward and or a deep ward to continue to enable your team to split push, including yourself, rather than this super defensive ward up front. So, like, here, go play some really deep ward that's going to live. That'll allow you to feel more comfortable, like, continuing a split push or knowing where to hide. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're on, like, one and a half times speed. I kind of forgot about that. It's just been going... I'm pretty used to it because I, as I look through games and stuff, I'm constantly at like two times speed. And then when I video edit, I also go at like double speed. So it's weird to then watch my own video like at a regular speed. I'm like, why am I so slow now? Hello friends. Welcome to my guide on how to play support. I'm not really going to worry about your spell casting since your question was about map movements. I think we answered some of it. I don't know. We were a little distracted. This is such an aggressive TP. TP further back a little. Oops. I think you misclicked on the Dark Seer. No big deal. I mean, it got your Lena killed. Yeah, no big deal. Go top, go top. Bottom's kind of fine too, I guess. I think I said top first because if anything's going to force them back, it's creep pressure on their tier three as opposed to the tier two. But it's also daytime and I want your team to do Roche. Uh, so they would be going bottom. So you don't need to push bottom in. You want to push in top. And then force force the enemy top, which drags them away from Roche. And also gives your team stuff to farm as they go bottom for Roche. 
But I mean, if they're like super slow in jungling, then you do kind of want to push both lanes. Also, for the record, guys, I don't mean to rant too hard, like, negatively about League. I think it does come out like that a little bit. Again, if you like it, it's totally fine. I, I, right, like, please enjoy whatever you like. I'm just talking about things I like or don't like, things that I think are... I guess it's... <laughs> some of it is aggressive, maybe, because I'm like, that's bad design. But, like, it's just design I don't like. Um, but you might like that stuff. You might like being able to play one hero the whole time, right? It, it's It's fine. League players are welcome here. We all just like video games that take 10,000 hours to be okay at. League sucks, XD. <laughs> oh, what a vacuum! Okay, I think your team's got it from here. Guys, shall we continue with replays, rants, or go play RimWorld or something? Hey, Dashiell, why, that's the question we're trying to answer right now. I am doing well, how about you? A few time stamp with clock clip, ooh. That'd be great, NPR. Thank you. I'm going to copy and paste this so I don't forget. I keep... In the Discord, I have a private channel where I keep different video ideas. Um, or notes for, like, following videos. I'm going to grab that real quick and stick it in there. Replays or RimWorld both equal rants. <laughs> That's true for the record, guys. If you if we do replays, just know, you know, we're at the end of the day. The focus is getting low. You're gonna get the rambly replays. You're gonna get like two nuggets of info and ten minutes of talk about the rusted smoker I'm looking at fixing. <laughs> Yeah, we can do replays. Let me let me open up the the thing. <laughs> Deadlock streamer BSJ. He seems pretty into it. A lot of Dota players are. I'm curious who's gonna make the full jump. I know that's a really tough decision to make. I'm gonna stick with Dota for now because I'm bad at shooters and I I don't feel as drawn into Deadlock. I know a lot of people feel like Deadlock is the new thing and they really like it, I'm happy for them. I think it's got a lot of cool stuff. But I, I don't get sucked in as much. I, I don't really know why. Maybe it is the shooter element that I'm just like not as good at, so I just don't find it as appealing. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, here. <laughs> it's not like we do this like all the time. Hey, Falcus, I appreciate the, uh, the raid back. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. We're actually about to do replays. Um, once I can find what I'm looking for. So if you're interested in having one of your games analyzed by some washed up gamer, then you can type exclamation point replay and join the raffle. Welcome, everybody. Um, in regards to other games, are you familiar with Satisfactory? And if you do, is that what you feel old was my old food engineer? <laughs> I I know Satisfactory a little bit. I haven't played it that much. It kind of was what my old job was. Uh, but I don't have to worry about, like, gathering the, <laughs> the resources as much. Um, other people do that. Uh, the company I worked at was large enough that a lot of that was broken up. So... Sometimes I helped a little bit with it, but I didn't have to do too much. Um, my job was like, here are the things we're thinking of using. Will that work? And if I don't know and nobody knows, it's like, well, we just got to go try it. So bring it all, ship it all to the factory, and we're going to try to make it. 
Uh, we're going to adjust the things we think need to be adjusted. We're going to find out. Um, what's one example? For example, if I'm making cereal and we want a certain size and density because they're like, oh, this is too tough. Or like, oh, we were imagining marketing is like, we were imagining something more colorful. Like, can you make the colors bigger? I'm like, that dye system's from the 50s. I don't know. We don't have much control over that. Uh, that's kind of what I did. And I tried to like make all that work. I think Satisfactory has some of that, but I don't know if it's like all of it. There's probably less marketing influence in Satisfactory. Satisfactory would fit my job if it was like, hey, we need a source of iron. It's like, oh, I can do that. It's like, yeah, but the iron should be in like little heart shapes and it should be about this size. It's like, well, that doesn't oh, seem very that? efficient when we already can do a square size. It's like, well, you know, can you do that? So then you do and they're like, ah, Square size is actually testing better, so forget the hearts. The, then the satisfactory becomes more like my old job. <laughs> Z, wait. Should I say ZT Fee ZFA? Thank you for the prime sub. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Thank you very much. Who else wants to join? Now that you're prime sub, do you have better odds of winning the replay? It's slightly rigged towards subs. What, there's nuclear energy in Satisfactory now? I do like system building. We were playing, uh, what was it? While my siblings were here, we were playing Splendor, Unrailed, those kind of games. And we like my my brother-in-law. We both enjoy games where you kind of build a system of like, okay, here's the stuff that's going to collect resources. Here's the stuff that's going to process resources. Um, so I think Satisfactory is like right down that, uh, that kind of like line, you know? What position do you play? Usually four or five. I like position four more, but I actually play more position five because just the way matchmaking is. I actually also like off lane, but it's been a little bit since I played it. Unrailed is so fun. I actually really like Unrailed. I have a really fond memory of uh, when it first came out. I'm gonna, last chance to join guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a winner. Um, I think it was Thanksgiving because my family's all scattered now, right? Because we're all old. Um, but over Thanksgiving, I was playing with my brother-in-law and we wanted to beat it before we left. So we were like, or beat where it was at that time. It had like a final level. It was like, should we just stay up all night and do it? So we did. And that was really fun. Uh, very chaotic. Um, Kaga. I hope I didn't, I'm butchering y'all's names, but congratulations. Uh, if you have a replay from the last week or a ticketed game from before, though it's usually rare to have ticketed games, um, let me know who you're playing, all that jazz, and give you some feedback while also rambling about whatever else. We've been a little distracted. What's going on? <laughs> still engaged, still happy to share. How you doing? <laughs> it's a very exciting time here. <laughs> you might like Wingspan if you like card games. I think I... I think I just saw it. I was like in a Target and I think I saw that, but I didn't know much about it. I'll look more into it, Phenomenox. Sub for the stories. <laughs> Thank you. Variety, some satisfactory. Yeah, I might add it to the list. Uh, I saw, I saw um, Steven Johnson playing it. It did kind of make me want to play. I'm enjoying fishing more than mining in Terraria. Uh-oh. You know, funny enough, Huber's Fall, I didn't quite get into the fishing yet. It was on my list. But I was I was grabbing a net and starting to catch animals to put in terrariums. I was I was creating a animal collection in that game more so than doing whatever else. I think a community terraria would be fun. I don't know when we'll do it. Maybe finish our RimWorld run and then do it or something. I don't know. Uh, will you play a ranked game? So usually I do. Uh, most streams I do play ranked. Um, we're NA Immortal. Uh, but 
we are at the end of the day. We played like, what was it, like five something games today. Kind of mentally tired. So now we're going to do replays. So the rest of the day is replays. If you're not interested in that, I understand. But otherwise, uh, usually we are just playing out games. Uh, Friday will be the next time. I'll be back. We'll do some games there. It's going to be one dude that beats the final boss day one. I guess it's possible. I don't know that much about Terraria. I think that could be kind of funny, though, too, right? You guys rush the bosses, and I just make a golf course, and then you all have to play the golf course, and the lowest score gets kicked, and then we bring someone new in. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. You guys are out there working hard, and I'm just goofing. Cogka, are you here? Sometimes people join and then step away. If you're here and you're just looking for a game, that's fine. Just let me know. Yeah, so lay man, we're gonna we're gonna watch replays, give feedback to the people. Back from a drive. Yeah, it got a little rambly and distracted, PCX, as you might expect. But hopefully there was at least a couple instances where we talked about where you can go. There's a Factorio update? I also didn't play that one. <sighs> now I know where to buy quality badminton rackets for cheap. Exactly! You just gotta keep going to Goodwill and hope you find something. My mom likes to look for bread makers at Goodwill. I usually go to just see random stuff they have. Uh, when I first moved out of my house, that's where I bought a lot of stuff. Because you can find a lot of stuff for cheap, like a table, chairs, whatever. Um, electronics are a little scary because like you can't always do a full test and they don't have like a great refund policy. So I don't always do that stuff unless it's like super cheap. Um, I never really buy clothes from Goodwill because I don't really need a bunch of clothes. But I just like seeing what they have. Like I just bought... I bought some dumbbells. Because... I feel like when you buy these new, they're like, yeah, that's $30. I bought both of these for $3 total. Now I can do small exercises at my own desk. Okay, if Kogka is not here, we're going to re-roll. Last chance. If you are here... Speed runs for Terraria are like two hours. That's cool. I don't, I actually don't know much about it. Um, I only made it to hard mode with my girlfriend. Uh, fiance. See, it's so weird. It's so weird. I'm not used to it. Uh, maybe we'll get back to it. We'll keep playing it. We were kind of burning out towards the end. I think I like that kind of stuff. I don't think it's quite as much as fun for her. So she was like more burned out after she. She was, she was having fun exploring the whole map, and then once she saw all of it, she's like, eh, I don't really care as much about like killing bosses and stuff. 10 biceps curl every death. How many would I have had to do? Let's check the losing streak day. This one was bad. 11, oh God. 11 deaths in that game. Oh God, another 11. Nine. Oh wait, that was the same one. Nine. Thirteen. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, was that seriously two 13 death games in a row? <laughs> and then eight on the win. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be swole. Swole at the end of it. All right, we're going to reroll. Sorry, Kogka. NPR. Congrats. Still not rigged. Going for the Malk Award. Didn't quite get there. Not enough commitment. Thanks, Changies. Not feeding us support. Yeah, it's it's tricky. Mm, a lot of it's positioning, I would say. Many supports. I didn't want to win, really. <laughs> we can just do another one if you want. Uh, Reroll it. Um... A lot of supports, like from the replays we do, I would say the most common reason for me to see support players feeding is map awareness and positioning. 
in particular when going to ward like they feel they need to de ward or ward like right now in a certain area but it's a really bad time to like if you look around the map and you've been watching it either the enemy is in that area or you have no idea where the enemy is and you're like i think there's a ward there i'm gonna go walk under vision and drop a sentry right like that that usually leads to several free deaths every game Ooh, giving it to Falcons if he's there. Good call, good call. Keep the Raiders here, NPR. Nice, nice. Dedicated to the channel. Can you show the difference with disorder magnet magnetic fields base damage buff versus drinking buddy? I'm not fully sure I know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna start by just loading in a demo lobby. Which one do I need? Is it this one? Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. What exactly are we testing? You just get the bonus damage while in it, right? And then drinking buddies is. I was typing in drinking buddies, not Tusk. Tusky dooski is what? 2045, 70, 90? I just realized that scaling's funny. Start at 20 and then plus 25 each time. Interesting. It's not that funny. I don't know why. Put the Tusk rolling your profile on the left side of the play Dota button. I'm scared he'll follow up. <laughs> Where do I have him now? Oh, on the right side? Hmm, I guess I could put him on the left. But I kind of like him on the right. All right, Falcus did the casting and he probably took off. Understandable. NPR, you want to pick someone different or you want to reroll? Yo, Sasu, congrats. <gasps> Guys, idea. I need a I need like a little pop-up celebration button somewhere for when people come in to share the good news about like MMR they've gained. That's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Congrats on hitting Immortal. Are you in the uh, the NA servers? Am I going to grief your games, or are you in a different server dodging me? Reroll. Done. Mortal Oracle. Um, sure, NPR. I'll take any of those clips. I can, I can demo that one, though. You don't have to find it, because I think that one's easy enough to demonstrate, right? Like, I just drop it on the ground, and I'm like, you can do this. I think that's all people need to know. You don't have to see it happen in, like, a real game. EU West. Sometimes we think about queuing EU West, so maybe. Maybe I'll come grieve you with my Lich 4 sometime. What's another one we always lose with? That's awesome, though. Congrats. Ah. I forgot to put them away. Oh no. Did he spit it up somewhere? I have to put it somewhere. My cat chewed uh, the switch, uh, like hand straps. We broke out the switch to play with my siblings. We hadn't used it in quite a while. Forgot about it. Ah, uh, choopy. All right. Uh, this is the one you finally pulled the, uh, you said Arc Warden and Visage. <sighs> I gotta respect your dedication to the, the weird stuff. The Oracle Blade Mail, the support Arc Warden. All right, let's see it. Let's see it in action. I'm ready. Is there any particular feedback you're hoping for? Yeah, the cats know. I told them as soon as we're back.
That's weird. It's from today. Try again. I think I lost a bunch of FPS. Oh, there we go. I'll just let Dota load itself. No skipping ahead. Cactus Lord. Nice name. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Thanks for dropping by the stream. Maybe I should go to Cactus. I live in Texas. I guess that would make sense. It's probably easy to grow here. But I don't really... There are some cool cactuses, but just because they can hurt you, you know? I... They hurt you, and they're... I don't think you can eat anything from a cactus. Actually, you can, but I don't know if I want to eat anything from a cactus. Mainly, I grow things that I eat. So I can... It's fun, and I save money. Hubris. I mean, as long as you ask, I'll, I'll share some FPS with you. You shouldn't just take it, though. That's rude. Okay, actually, I do have some succulents. Um, we have a jade plant that my came from my mom's garden. A lot of them die, though. I think she sent me some that already rooted, and I, they're currently living. We'll see if they stay living. All right, I think you got some death toll or one death toll kill there here we can see real quick yep that there's a death toll kill all right so it looks like your plan is just poke away ah! Ah! just enough perfect um yeah we're gonna need a salve an extra regen. After your first blood attempts with uh, Visage, I would recommend just grabbing lots of regen if you already have like the right click fighting stuff. Because you already know you want to fight a bunch with Visage. You want to like constantly poke, get them low for the soul assumptions. Uh, which means you're always fighting. And if you fall low, then that was the whole game plan. You have nothing. So um, yeah, I would buy like Tango, Salve, stuff like that. Go for like short term stuff. Like, you're buying the... Well, the clarity made sense originally, but, like, say the Sage's Mask. That's going to take more time to pay off. Tried for the stack. Saw it didn't happen, so that should give you an idea that it's blocked. And then... It's fine to just chill because there's such a large creep wave, but you should stay... So, okay, it didn't block. This is a mega creep wave, right? You don't need to do anything, but you do need to make sure they don't pull. Either this into this, or the next creep wave. You don't have to contest the small camp if it's too scary, but they might pull the hard camp over. So rather than fall back directly here, you should just like stay over here, where you should be safe enough, uh, just to make sure they don't pull this way, or into this lane. And then it looks like you are kind of like thinking about gonna go check that small camp. Or maybe you're just trying to give solo XP to Visage. I wouldn't give too much right away. You do want your level two. And then you should be close enough to do a pull. Because the fact that no creep wave showed up should tell you that they did a pull. Uh, you don't know it's stacked or not. But you want to match it if possible. And since you have a hard camp, don't stand too far back. Keep an eye on the creep wave like where it is. And then you can do this pull. And then this is happening here. And then even though they did a pull that you didn't contest, not knowing that it was stacked, that kind of sucks. Uh, but let's say they did a regular pull, denied some stuff. The fact that you do your own pull kind of balances it out. Uh, we do miss out since they ended up doing a stacked pull, which instead of being here, you could have been like around this area to absorb XP, and that'd be a little better. Uh, this one was raffled, this uh, replay. I was thinking about Dragon Fruit Cactus. I think I'm interested in that one. The plant looks so funny, guys. If you've never seen a dragon fruit tree, Google it real quick. It is not what I expected in my head. This is a dangerous pull because a creep wave is already pushing in. You actually don't need to do this one. You see what's happening, which is like Visage tanking creeps while they're getting to contest the, the pull. So you didn't really deny anything. And different heroes could actually farm that creep wave. So then you'd be... They would actually have gained from the pull you did. Uh, fortunately, you do just get a, grab a lion kill. Your lane equilibrium was actually fine with the, the creeps pushing in, like, right here. 
Uh, so if you don't do this, and this just sits here, these two, you're gonna meet like right here, uh, and then the next creep wave is over here. So then as these two die, the next creep wave is like already pushed into like somewhere here-ish. So you're in a good spot without doing this pull. This pull actually just puts pressure on you where you're tanking two creeps, and then maybe they farm some of this. And maybe you're fighting them too, but you're not really, you're not getting equilibrium because you had equilibrium, and you're not denying or gaining an advantage because they're also here. So there's like no real point to it. Except to maybe bait a fight. Which uh, arguably did kind of work out. It's fine outside for three seasons, but I need to bring it in. I will probably have to since Texas does have some frost. I think a lot of plants... Well, that's not true. Some are like, they die, but they come back through frost. But a lot of mine are potted plants that are not meant to be frosted. So I have a garage with a water heater in it. I'm going to hope that's warm enough. I'm going to put the plants in there. Since a lot of the plants can't come inside because they'd be toxic to my cats. And my cats have no control and just like... I mean, I just told you Jupiter chewed up a switch handle. Or a switch... The... Wrist strap. The plants... The plant struggle. I would get raindrops, I think, too. Good versus the nuking damage. Uh, like the power shot. But also, you've been, like, spamming out mana spells. I don't know if you need kinetic field yet, do you? I might get a second point in either E or Q. I don't really know which one's best. But I... You like the combo with Visage is W at six, right? Oh, there's a Slark mid, huh? Did you look at that? Like this is always 80 mana, but you would double in value from level one to level two. And it's, this requires mana for three different spells. If you put a second point in E, that would be like two spells, but still extra value. Q also more than doubles in value. 20 to 45 DPS. Like, the level 2 on both these abilities is really good. I would say doing that and then going back for Magnetic Field would be better. Like, even though it looks like you want to max Magnetic Field, I'd think maxing it by level 8 instead of level 7, but you have a much stronger lane, I think that's that would be worth it. No. Yeah, they... Specifically, Jupiter likes to chew stuff. But actually, Hephaestus also likes to chew stuff like my headphone wire and my mouse wire. And, like, if he's sitting on my desk and I'm moving it around, he's like, Ah, oh, is that a... Is that a snack? Alright, Visage. I see you with level 6. Let's see this combo. Visage Familiars, obliterate. <laughs> there was a tower there. How much do the familiars usually have? Twenty-five. Nice. So you're doing what? Two hundred percent extra damage. Ah, unfortunate. I mean, I think that's good, but I still think, like you mentioned, like oh, we're just waiting for Visage to hit six. And I think guaranteeing a stronger lane as opposed to building for like when we hit six, but we're two levels behind because we lost. I mean, I don't know how often you're ever going to play Arc Warden support with a Visage offlane, but any offlaner who you're like, oh, I won level six and then we're going to combo with the W. I still think like delaying one skill point will be fine to give yourself a better lane. Visage, please watch out. I think you intentionally tanked the dive for him. I'm not sure if I would. 
but I appreciate the attempt. And it did keep him alive, so I guess it's fine. I'd probably watch him die as I'm like, hello, hello, leave, leave, leave. <laughs> Yeah, we're just doing a review. I'm not ready for Arc Warden support. I'll wait for a buff, and then I... I've never, like, really, really believed in... Oh my god, look at this. Skeletons and Visage Familiars. That's pretty disgusting. That was times two speed. Let's go back and see that at regular speed, guys. Right, here we go. Boys, let's go. Huddle up. How many skeletons do you have? Five? All right, here we go. Here we go. Double bubble. That was like instant too. Oh my god, look at this thing. Enemy team. Do you like that tier one tower? What about your base? <laughs> That's pretty insane. With that in mind, one power shot earlier could have like a power shot and a fade bolt would have stopped this push. Team. We have, like, four different AoE spells here. Team. <laughs> hey, Turtle Winds, what's up? Uh, this was Disorder Facet. Time to repeat down the middle lane. Bubble boys. All right, I think from here, let's just zoom forward because I think you guys are just about to A click it down and unless they press their spells. Oh no, no spell pressing from that out. Mid Slark. Wyvern save, help me. Aw. <gasps> Stolen Wyvern save, oh no! Got him. I need to see, one of these familiars needs to get empowered. Oh, actually I don't know if you can empower them anymore. Allied unit. Unit, I think you should be able to, right? Or buff a skeleton for lols. <laughs> Turtle wins. Got it. I don't know what I just said. It used to be a shared account with my brother. Turtle twins makes a lot more sense if you were sharing with your brother. <laughs> but thank you. I'll try to remember that. Turtle wins. Wait, wait, wait. No, it does say twins. Okay, I, I said it and then I misread it to the other way. Okay, okay. Ricky's a deadlock lover. We were talking about who's been sucked into deadlock. Ricky's all in on deadlock. I think I've had my fun in deadlock punching people. I haven't picked who, but I'm going to try to... I'm going to pick someone to learn. Someone who actually has to aim the bullets. I think trying to just punch people will uh, not be a good long-term plan. All right, let's do a new let's do a new replay. I'm not sure how many more we'll do. But feel free to join in for at least one more. We might stop after that one. It's getting kind of late. Even what? 6 hour stream. <sighs> when will I play Elden Ring? We don't have... So RimWorld, we just play for fun, like, in between stuff. Now that we're done with Wukong, maybe Elden Ring's next. But we need a long period of time. And we're going to be Dota grinding for a bit. So I think when we do variety, it'll be something smaller. 
Maybe the Terrario community server could be a fun, fun one. This is so silly. I still stand by my statement though, like, you know, I think an 11 minute and 20 second barracks, cause you only have level three field, but two points in like E or Q is still gonna be really ridiculous. I would personally opt for the stronger laning stage as opposed for building for the level six right away, but it did pay off. It heckin' paid off. Ah, don't walk into my bubble and kill me! Base damage. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. So, like, 20 becomes 100. Or like, what is this, 80 base damage and then Earthshaker Totem is like an extra 400. Bopped. All right, 19 minute Megas. And they didn't even give up. They were trying to play. Except for when they didn't go defend the 11 minute push with two AoE spells. But besides that, Besides that. I guess of any team to deal with Megas, you would want an Alchemist who at least gets bonus gold. But, yeah, not not the best. Okay, I'm gonna do it quick. Krangy. Boom. Fast. Much like a Visage Arc Warden push. I'm going to get a rig demote. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe a voting machine. I want I want some kind of emote for rigged so that we can spam it every time there's a raffle. I've been trying to accumulate ideas for emotes and then I'm going to find someone to do some. There's a people emote for rigged. Let me see if I can find it real quick. My quick search of rigged Peepo emo didn't pop up the right thing, I think. I'll look for it later. It's just a constant issue. Every time matchmaking gives us the toxic player after a win streak, rigged. Every time the enemy grieves on a, on a losing streak, rigged. The one with the sign above his name and he shakes it up and down. Maybe we don't need our own emo then if that one exists. But it'd be kind of fun. I don't know. It's gone. Rigged. Let me see, let me pull up, while Krangy's finding a match. Oh, another community game that I think would be funny, but I am not equipped to do this yet, so maybe it'll come down the line. There's a, I think I talked about this before. There's a VR game called, I think it's supposed to be C, say Acorn, but there's a typo in it, or maybe it's intentionally that way. Acron, Attack of the Squirrels, where the person with the VR is a giant tree, and then people can join in with their phones and a code, so that could be you guys, and you try to steal the nuts from the tree. 
and the tree just throws things around. But I don't know how that would look on stream. I might have to test that. But I feel like that could be a funny thing. Slime Rancher 2, I have yet to play. I bought it. I think that's a very niche game that a lot of people wouldn't care about, but I love Slime Rancher. I'm very excited to play Slime Rancher 2. How to end this game? Was this a 23 Savage at Riyadh type of mistake? Oh no. <laughs> okay we'll take a we'll take a look um who are you playing here it looks like your name's different from in the game oh you're the morphling okay so what was that harold carry harold hard carry okay for harold games ending is pretty chaotic right, maybe chaotic's the wrong word it's kind of like random because there's technically like a clear way to end games where it's like, oh, go for a pick off, get ages, push, whatever. Harold is very chaotic. Uh, people do their own things. So I would recommend you have to be more patient. You have to be kind of like with your team waiting for someone to feed. Uh, hopefully the enemy team, not your own team. Um, but you're waiting near the guy on your team who wants to feed. So you turn that play into like actually something. Um, once you get like a big kill and then they're probably not saving buyback, that's probably the easiest way to actually uh, end a game. I'm going to jump ahead since that's your main question. Maybe jump to 40 minutes and look beyond that 14 minute window where it's a pretty even game. So maybe just building gold lead in general would be the way to do it. Looks like there was a big throw at the end. Maybe not big because like 10k at 50 minutes, but it does look like it quickly leads to the end. So we'll get to see that. But around 40 minutes, you're strong enough that you could end even in an even game. Like if you win one big fight, you could get some major building damage. So let's take a look. Um, where are we? 26. Let's jump ahead a little more. Okay. Yeah, I think here is good. So I won't worry too much about other stuff. We'll talk about like overarching macro stuff to look for to like end the game. And let me see if... Uh... So... Dude, I love Slime Rancher. It's so good. It's so chill. Guys, if you've never played it and you just need like a chill, cutesy farming game, but not like cutesy, cutesy, like I'm a real gamer, I can't play, whatever. Not like that cutesy. It's just such a chill game. It's so good. I don't know if Slime Rancher 2 is the same where they change stuff because I get to play it, but it's so good. I love Beat Saber. I love rhythm games in general. All right, let's take a look. So, looks like a pretty even game. Uh, looks like a lot of the towers are still up, so I might like speed forward. But getting a coordinated push to take these objectives is tough in Herald. It really does come down to once someone makes a mistake and you get a kill, you can just push down, hopefully, and take stuff. Uh, one way can be split pushing yourself. Uh, for example, right now, your team does not have any deep wards, and this can be very scary to do on your own, but if your supports aren't doing it, right, you put it a couple in your backpack, at some point, you get to swap it in, play some, that'll help you know how safe you can be to split push. Um, you have a Legion on your team, so she should want to duel things. I see no Blink or Shadow Blade, you know, classic, uh, but if you can find a duel, then that makes it easy to get the pick off, move on from there. Um, so you can try to split push or you can try to find kills uh, and just be ready to react. So I would try to like save your teleport so that when uh, someone gets dove, you can respond, things like that. So for example, I see your team pushing as a top as a group and it may not be ideal, but you probably just go with them. You can try to deal with the ratting since you are dealing with a nature's profit. Rather than like farm this ancient camp, I would go deal with bottom as quickly as you can. Yeah, so like LC comes back, right? And that means, again, your team is like back to your side. So if you go straight there, even though I think what you did is probably fine at a higher level, for a Herald game, if we're trying to bait people to do the right thing, we're kind of trying to think about that. 
All right, so they are pushing mid with a couple heroes. So this could be where you're split pushing, say, bottom. Now I see Invoker top. Ending the game comes down to a lot of map awareness as well. So, like, we see a fight happening here. If we can get there to help out in time, maybe we're getting a kill to help end this. I see he's bringing the life stealer away. <laughs> uh oh. I'm not going to worry so much about the exact fights. I think you actually could have stayed and fought there a little bit more. You have no... I was going to say you have no damage now. Apparently, you still have some. I think if he sun raid you, you would have lived. Uh, but, uh, you know, it kind of works out. So, if you were the Phoenix, this is where you go shove in the lane ASAP. If you had lived, this is where you go, shove in the lane right away. Uh, note how Phoenix is not doing that. Invoker actually buys back. He's trying to end the game. He's trying to answer the same questions you are. How does one end the game? Buyback. Uh, from your perspective, now that he's used buyback, that's a fantastic target to kill, and then he can't, he can't do it again for eight minutes. Uh, so you could look to push and you don't have to worry about him. Uh, Roshan's another objective. And in a pub game, you just like pitch these ideas forward and hope it happens. And if it doesn't happen, you continue to farm up and try to reach some super scaled up point. And you see you, you're like second net worth. That's not too bad. There's not a huge difference though. Uh, that would be a different kind of review to look through like your farming pattern. So I'm not gonna worry about it now, but that's another approach. Look, here's a guy warding for himself. So they're all grouped up mid. This is where if you had a teleport, you could push out top and then TP back to defend your base. Hopefully, maybe they get baited, someone leaves, and then you can go back in. <gasps> this guy's using healing trance. He's not following the meta and herald. Someone report this man. That's not okay. So here's them diving, right? This is another chance for you to get a kill. Like, uh, I would maybe swap the dust in for the morbid mask at this point to try to find that invoker. Okay, you just lost a bunch of heroes. What is Phoenix doing? What are you doing over here, Phoenix? This is a helm of the dominant. What is this build? This is some herald shit right here. All right, you guys are gonna take the 2v5, and you're gonna win. All right, so. Looking at the lanes, they're all on our side, not the best. But just pick a lane, shove it down. Uh, so it looks like Slark's gonna handle top. Maybe you go mid. Uh oh, there's a life stealer here. So maybe we kill life stealer instead. All right, that works. So rather than chase an invoker too hard, if you think you can get him, I guess it's fine. But really, when they're dead this long, you just wanna shove down a lane. If you're thinking about trying to end game, which means objective damage. So you're pinging it. Okay, we can go a little further. Then we have to be careful because they're starting to respawn. You can probably poke this for a few seconds. Yeah, just get out, get out, get out. We got fortify. You're kind of sticking around, it's getting scary. Well, if you're willing to commit BKB, I guess it's okay. But you could have gotten out of there for free without having to do that. And you don't quite take that tower, but you got a lot of it and the fortify. <laughs> I don't know what Phoenix is doing, but it's Harold. You know, Phoenix, it just, it, this is, this is the reality. We will win despite this. <laughs> My dad likes using the phrase in spite of as a way of, uh, you know, facing life's challenges. I, as Morphling, can win this Herald game in spite of this Phoenix with Helm Dom and a Dagon jungling on the enemy's half of the map. Okay, so this fight's happening. I hear Phoenix. Phoenix is doing stuff. Oops. 
wrong switch. Or maybe unlucky bash. He missed. Unlucky. Infest is so low cooldown, actually. Get him, Phoenix. Get him, Phoenix! Hell yeah. Alright, we have no creeps, though, again. So here's where, like, Deep Ward should be placed if anyone's got him. Help you find future pickoffs. You might want, like, a Hex to help you get pickoffs. So that's something you can consider. I don't mind the MKB, though. Scotty also sounds good to me. Ooh. All right, pretty good. A click down the middle lane. This is really good. Let's go, let's go. We've got creeps. Everyone push. Urshager should connect mid rather than try to solo push top on his own. It looks like he's about to die. But if he was mid, he could maybe be helping kill this invoker. You're gonna try to go for it. Get this dust in. All right, we're, we're looking good so far. Except for the Phoenix who just walked in and died. Let's ignore that. Almost got the life stealer. Oh no, the tornado! I think if you BKB that to kill the life stealer, it'd be worth it. Who's that? Where Thank are you, you looking oh, oh. right now? You're not dead. <laughs> so it's annoying, because if your whole team was there, you could have won, but that's just the Riot of Herald. Like, it's just gonna be long and drawn out. Sometimes. But you're getting the chip in, you know? Like, you broke high ground, all that stuff. You got some, like, BKBs. Sometimes you get a buyback. To be honest, I if I was you and I was trying to get out of Herald, I wouldn't even focus on this part. I would focus on the laning stage and building a much bigger difference on the net worth. It's what will give you the most control to do things on your own. Like, in an even game like this, it does come down to, like, I need my teammates to do the right thing. It's going to be a little random if, like, we screw up first or they screw up first. But I'll go from here anyways because that is, that's like, that's what you're asking about. But my own recommendation for getting out of Herald would be a lot more on the early game focus. Criddle Moms, thank you for the Prime sub. Sorry, I was zoned out. I missed it. Thank you. All right, you're trying to split push. I think that's a good idea. I might go mid, because you already opened up the barracks, right? Uh, your building damage is insane, so it's kind of okay, actually. Uh, you're going for the straight win. Um, I mean, they're kind of letting you do it. I think if you just... Okay, let's go back real quick. I think if you just take the racks and then leave, you can... Well, I don't know. I guess your team all fed. Maybe you had to do this. No one's got buybacks. And Phoenix died. So if Phoenix doesn't die and you guys just wait for Legion and Slark... You just TP home. I've already seen you guys take like a 2v5 fight and win. So, I mean, I get what you're going for and I can't say it's wrong. I think at a higher level more people would have come back to stop you and then have won the game after that. Like, the natures would have come back. He didn't this time. I think the higher percentage play would be take these racks, and then as these guys respawn, you come home and you attempt the 3v5 fight. And the fact that you took these racks means it's easier to escape versus being in here and there's no escape for you. Um... 
I've seen them goof. I, I've seen both of you guys goof, so you might actually have a chance at defending like 3v5. This was kind of close too in terms of like how much damage you did, but yeah, they're just kind of fast and you just like casually BKB three seconds early, no big deal. And I kind of think like, you know, maybe you make the difference there. You waveform through and kill like three people. I believe in you. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really think that's... Uh, the bigger question would be like, how do we affect this fight here? Which is that your team was completely scattered and it's not really on you. But you have to pick who you like most and who you think is best and go with them to avoid this kind of stuff. Because you guys are like, we're pushing mid, we're pushing top, we're pushing bottom. Like, if they're not going to you, you have to be the smarter player and go to them, even if it's not as good, so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen. Oh, I didn't even notice your TP got canceled. My bad. Oh, yeah. One of those changes about the glyph refresh. I kind of forget about it, too. Yeah, a lot of, like, if the game gets even in the late game, it really is about, like, who can find the right kills first and which team stumbles into the victory, which is why I would really recommend, if you're trying to get out of Herald, rather than worry about this stuff where there's very little control, there's very little team play, focus on your lane, focus on your early game impact, get yourself a huge lead as much as possible. Um, it's way more doable than trying to control a late game situation of a relatively even game. It's much easier to practice out laning one or two other players, and then they don't know how to call it quits. So you, you start killing them back to back to back, and they just can't do much about it. Uh, that is much easier than, hey, can you, we're gonna ward Roche, we're gonna bait a TV back, we're gonna like, Come here, I'm gonna pop Lincolns, you're gonna blink duel. It's like, it's way too many steps for a Phoenix who is Helm Dom dagging creeps back here at 40 minutes into the game, right? The, it's not gonna connect. <laughs> yeah, solo Roche could also help. I, I didn't really think about that, but you were strong enough at the end there uh, to probably just do it on your own. Do you know what the best ride is in the water park? The lazy river. I love a good lazy river, even though they're probably gross. Whole water parks are probably gross, you know? Okay, give me the answer. Give me the answer, Hubert's Fall. What is it? <laughs> Not anymore, Hubert's Fall. I'm, I'm engaged. None of that now. <laughs> Oh, wave pools are pretty fun. Yeah, wave pools are cool too. There's something fun about just like floating around. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see. We're going to end for today. Thanks for hanging around. We got pretty lucky with the games. Won all of them. Bounced it out yesterday. Let's see how we do on Friday. Uh... Friday, expect a clockwork guide to come out. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Uh, and we'll be back to playing games on Friday. And then we'll see. Maybe we'll mix in some variety stuff. We'll see how the games go. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for the gifted subs. Especially We Go Hard on Earth, who absolutely went insane with like 20 subs yesterday and then 50 today. Thank you so much, man. Uh, but everyone, even just like, you know, just hanging out watching, I appreciate it. It supports me. Thank you so much. Uh, well, let's go to... See, Ricky was just here. He's playing some deadlock. I bet he's not even ready. 
I bet he's on his ready screen. He's not even prepared for a raid. He's probably holding his cat right now. Headphones, oh, let me, it looks like this, guys. I've seen him do this before so many casts. That's Ricky. That's my Ricky impression right there. And he's talking to his cat. And you can hear him talk to his cat, but he can't hear you because his headphones are off. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Ricky, guys. He's playing Deadlock if you haven't seen it already. Um, Ricky's pretty good at it. He can explain all the stuff. I asked Ricky, I'm like, Ricky, why do I always end up in a lane by myself? How does this game work? I don't know, you know. 